Hello, ladies. This broadcast is now live. We are live. Well, I'm going to have to, as soon as it comes on, I'm going to have to mute. So, oh, shoot. So am I. This broadcast is now live. There we go. I caught it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Or afternoon, I should say. I couldn't think of a catchy title. Sorry. It's Tuesday. So let's. <laughs> Less craft. And it's um, I, have, I have tons of things to show you guys. Uh, first, be, oh, hello, Laurel. Hello. Do your, do, your, do your hellos. I know you like to say hello to everybody. Go ahead. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Luz. Hello, Lori and Leslie. I don't know if Leslie's still here, but hello, ladies. Laurel looks more presentable Thank than you, I. Thank you, Lori. I just got it done today. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's purple. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so this morning, we both have had, well, I haven't had a busy morning. Laurel's had a busy morning, but I got this morning in my mailbox, well, not in my mailbox, in the Fox BT group, was her brand new kit called Odd Mints is out let me take this from behind so you don't see um i have nothing to say but it is absolutely gorgeous her shop is open so if you like it you could go get it oh i'm all fuzzy isn't that lovely thank you Luz. Oh. how am i all fuzzy when i ordered an ethernet cord you guys cord it's because there's so many different things on that picture. Like if you put your hand on half of it, I bet you will be able to see it further up. Like cover Hi, half. Of it. Girl, Donna. Well, so Hi, Amy. Cool. How are you? Love. Hi, Donna. Up. How are you? Anyways, I got this uh, kid this morning. Um, Bring it closer. Up. And hold it still and let's see what happens. And it's just, it's just lush. It's having its moment. Bring it a little closer. I we'll know. get this figured out one way or another. Yeah, I ordered the cord. The adapter, I should say. What's up, Angie? What's up, Angie? Angie is I always want to say, what's up, itty bitty? I miss calling you itty bitty. I know Angie did get the new kit this morning. Hello. Because I haven't gotten it yet because someone just informed me instead of informing me at the crack of dawn. Yes, we have loads, loads, loads to share. Um, here's the, this is the ephemera part of it. I know you guys can't see it, but. Yeah, I, I like the way everyone gets to see my face and they see your desk. <laughs> oh, I'm unpresentable. Ask Laurel. I am very unpresentable this morning. I love this measuring Let's, tape. Yeah, I, I agree. We're going to call her Itty Bitty. It is beautiful. It's this beautiful monochrome. All the ecru colors and black with the writing and the script. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It says, may your album ever shine with friendship glittering something and your friends who trace something be firm, sincere, and true. It's like a cutoff letter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, mine is not showing well, up. Mine is well. right. I, I, I need to have a little discuss with the fox about these digit digitals. Cause she's like, can you please look, look, it says Juliet right there. I love that. I love everything about this kit because can't wait I'm, to download it. I'm the monochrome. Nice. Like when she did her, uh, whatchamacallit sketchbook. Yeah, that's right. That one. Also, last night, if you, guys, colors. if you guys want a ton of downloads, oh my gosh, hey, run Joe, over to Antique. How are you? Run over to Antique uh, Papery right now. She has 20 kits that are going out of print for $8. $8. $3 uh, 
383 pages. 353 pages. Oh, I thought it was 383. Excuse now, me. Now, this is one of them, which is called French Dance, and I printed one. It's absolutely beautiful. There is um, 20 kits. You get 20 kits. They're called, and I wrote them down. They're called Back to Nature, Civil War, Covington, Darling, French Dance, Garden Trellis, um, Historical Pattern, which is awesome, like a retro pattern sewing one. Lou says, say it again, Sunday. please. It's, I'll put it in chat for you guys. I'll put, I'll go get the link and put it for you guys. Yeah, How about put that in chat. Um, Lazy Sunday, there's Mermaid, Lush Forest, there's one called Monroe, there's one called Nightingale which is this one that I have printed off a gazillion times because my printer this morning decided to say, I don't want to print. And it printed it a million times. Um, there's a Paloma, there's Pretty Things, there's a Santa, there's a Terracotta Boho, there's a Tea Party, there's a Nautical, there's a Steampunk Floral. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I like, the, I like the tea and butterflies too. Oh, that maybe that was not in there. That might, might be another part that I was looking at. But my favorite would have to be this French dance. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. So I printed all those this morning. So I have a lot of visuals to work with. I also printed out, I don't know if you guys know, Medieval Mirage. She has two free digital kits up now on her YouTube. Um, I printed those out, uh, which... This is just one that's a free kit. Look at all those papers you get. That's a free kit. Unbelievable. All right. There should be the link for the direct one that is $8 that yeah. I'm going to post. And then here's the other Medieval Mirage free kit, which you can make a cool mini journals or use those as just tags, whatever you want to do. Look at her paper bag. Yeah. That should take right to the kit. Some of our tea dye paper. That is a Civil War one, yes. Yeah. They're all gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous. Hold on, I just popped pop it. I definitely can't beat that for $8 for sure. No, no, you cannot beat it for $8. 20 kits? Are you kidding me? That was insane. Where did I just do it? Let me know if it works. Can someone try it and let me know if it works, if I did it right? They're all busy now. They're over there getting their uh, eight dollars. It's eight bucks too. Donna it's says you're early eight dollars. Donna says your printer is probably saying, "Listen, Linda, I'm going on vacation." <laughs> My printer hates me right now. Okay, so remember when um, the other day when I was repurposing a scrapbook? Um, Thank well, you, Amy. Most of that done. Uh, here's the scrapbook itself. It has some ledger paper underneath. And then I covered it with this yummy, grungy, and you can see the ledger paper through it. I'm not done working on it yet. I know it looks like a big cloudy mess to you guys. But um, I have all my hand sewn, not hand sewn, but machine sewn all, papers. All my hand sewn papers. Yeah, all my machine sewn papers. I reinforced the ones that were, remember, they were a little brittle. So they're all zigzag stitched, put together with either ledger paper or music paper. And then I did this really cool pocket right here. Do you guys know these are the album holders? You get album holders, and I'm going to make a cool book out of this as well. Um, this is an album holder for Hello, Pearl. Decca Records. Hi, Pearl. Um, and I used it as two pockets. And this has the Tracy Fox peeled paint just to cover the circle. And I'm going to use Oh, I said hi, Pearl. And I'm reading it, and it says Pearl and Button. Hi, Siobhan. How are you? Don't hi, mind Siobhan. me. I just saw the word Pearl. Hi, Siobhan. <laughs> Oh my so God. This is going to go get sewn into all of this. And this will be my huge music journal when I am done. 
Yay, yay, yay. Okay, that's all my sharing. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually, can I share my three little charms I've been working on? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still going to do a video on my channel, but I, wow. I thought I'd share them. So I've been, uh, I have been really, because you guys know I am Tracy Fox's number one fan, and I guarantee I own the most digis besides her DTs. <laughs> um, so I am finally starting to really get working with a lot of her kits, and I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out. Um, I'm working on the Taddy Planner right now. I can't show you anything yet, but... Um, I got a preview. It's cool. Yeah, a little bit further along, but I did make some charms with hey, Beverly. her. Um, Hi, Beverly. I did make some charms. Oh, thank you, Siobhan. I just got my hair done. I got my nose pierced, re-pierced today. I have all my earrings in. It's been a good day. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show share the charms with you guys that um, I've been working on. So let me switch my camera here. And hopefully I'm going to have to pull up my website and bring it in close so you guys can see. Laurel um, is queen of fussy cut because this is insane. I've never seen anything like this. All right, hold on. Let me get the right to my webcam. And then I'm going to have to go over and grab my um, thing for a second. So let me minimize this because I need to bring you guys in closer. Because okay. you won't be able to see them because they're so small. So I can't see chat for a second. So hold on, ladies. Webcam controls. I just need to. Oh, Luz just went and got them. Yay, Luz! Luz, you're gonna love them. I just named. I named about twenty. Yeah. Yeah, I did. All right. Did it bring me in closer? Yes. Okay. It doesn't look like it did, but. Oh yeah, you're closer. Okay. okay. Let me get YouTube pulled back up here so I can see what's going on. There's something black that's on the right it's of your head. That's a piece of purple. It's a piece oh, of purple. purple. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. So let me move this out of the way. And I now stand up, guys. So everything's in a different spot. So hopefully it's light enough. If I need to turn on, let's see. Can I turn on oh, this? Let's 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 him. Yay. All so right. you cannot beat that price for $8. An oh, antique debris. Oh, you can't beat I'll it. I'll show you what I started out with, and then I kept going smaller and smaller and smaller. So just you guys, just be pre Hold on. Let me click it on you, Laurel, because they All have right. to be close. All right. There, so I started out. So these are matchbook minis. These, this is her matchbook mini series, and I decided I wanted to make charms for journals. And I'm going to try and flip this so I can actually see the chat while I'm doing this here. So Coin hold on. Because I like to keep up with the chat. All right. So they started out this size. And this is actually, if I showed you a real matchbox, it's probably this high and that wide. So they started out like this. And then I got a little smaller. And uh, well, the, these two are a little smaller than this. And I'm like, eh, still not small enough. So we pushed those to the side. So then they became this. And if you look at this one to this. That's the size difference. So I will pull each one up and kind of show you. So I changed the colors because you guys know me. I like to monkey with my colors and stuff. I did do a little collaging on here and put in some cheesecloth and it says woodland. And then when you open it, I still have to make the chains. But when you open it, there is, <laughs> what do you see this? A, a charm inside for your journal. Let me get it apart. So it's on with and just a little tiny uh, Tim Holtz pin. And then each one of these is collaged as well. So that one's got the birds and it's got cheesecloth in between. This one's got a little bitty flower on it. <laughs> and then this one has a itty bitty ticket on it. That's a um, freaking ticket. And then I'm it's got a little chain um, with a bead on it. So this little bitty thing, <laughs> which is you know, the size of my finger fits inside this little bitty thing oh my God. like that. And there's that one. Then I've got this one that I collaged. I love this one. I cut out one of the flowers and of course a purple number four. And this one says florals on the side and it's got a little um, 
postcard and then you open this one and inside it's got it's like oh <laughs> it's got a little bingo tag with a little uh a butterfly that i put on there and it's got cheesecloth in it and then this one has uh, another ticket and then a number on one of the flashcards and then this one's just a little picture of the birds. Am I clear? I hope my autofocus isn't on. There's little yeah. ones on, but we can see right before you go to the little. All right, because hold Lisa, on. Lisa, I can. I don't know. I probably need to refresh. Let's see if I can fix this. I think it's because my autofocus is on because I turned my computer off now. Let me check. It's going to let me into quick capture or not. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Laurel is the queen of fussy cutting. I've never seen anything like it. Because when she first showed the box, which was shrunk down, she was like, no, I want to go smaller. And I'm like, Wait, no. Oh, this is nothing yet. Wait, ladies. So there's oh, that yeah. one. And then this one, I actually um, heat embossed this whole one. So it's kind of shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah. Um, And it's the birds. And then I put birds on the side. And then you open this one. I love this one. <laughs> I think it's my first one. So this one has a little purple bead and it's got an itty bitty postcard. And then it's got a flower with a little butterfly. And then it's got um, a size ticket and a little bitty ticket on it. So that's that one. So I was like, okay, these are great. I'm going to get this one back in here. Go back in the box. This one's a little bit tight in this box. So sure, I'm man. like, oh, that's I'm great, but, <laughs> but I want to go smaller. So, Look at that. so there's this one. Here's this one. And I even collaged on it. <laughs> it's got cheesecloth and a bug and a little number four. And it opens and it's got florals on the side with some cheesecloth. And it opens, and the little dangle I'm making oh, for this on. one is right here. So here's the back page with a little bitty number three. And then there's the birds. And then this little bitty ticket that'll hang from there. <laughs> so that'll all go inside this itty bitty one that is smaller than my little pinky. So um those are the these are going to be called matchbook minis charms um i just think they're adorable so i've been you know i can't do anything unless i overdo it and make it try and go as small as i can and i think that's pretty uh pretty small there <laughs> yeah, I think you nailed that one so huh i think you nailed it yeah i love this little tiny one so that one i still have to finish the little charm and stuff for but so yeah so those are those that's what i've been working on um and i started my caddy planner adorable like I love these those are dollhouse books they're so cute camera back and then i can go read you yeah. you can you can make us half and half again michelle but i don't want to because you show up better than well, me. i'm trying to see why my chat's not catching up here let's see what's going on are you watching on stream yeah or youtube are you in live chat Yes, I'm in live chat. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, Thank I'm you, Louis. On my desk. <laughs> You're oh, going yeah. to have my friend. Teeny tiny. tiny. My word. Yeah, they are perfect for dangles. It's going to be perfect on um the side of a journal. I think they're going to look really, really cute. So yeah. So uh, so yeah, I just been working on my Tracy Fox stuff for different things that I'm working on, and um now I'm getting ready to, you know. I'm doing my tatty planner, so I'm going to be working on probably some tags and um, just kind of monkeying around today. Nothing specific. You need bionic eyes. <laughs> yeah, my I can usually, I probably should have adjusted my focus bar. It would have came in really clear, but I'm standing now, so it's hard to be over there and on my computer at the same time because I don't have it next to me over here anymore. I have it on this side of the room, all at a different desk and everything now. Oh, it I think amazing it for sure. Yeah, I love them. I think, you know, I, I just, I wanted to see how small I could go. I could probably go smaller, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that teeny tiny one. Totally amazing. 
So yeah, and silence. And <laughs> silence. No I silence. was looking at my paper and I'm like, what flower is this? It's the some Italian paper that I got from Cheryl Wilm. Oh, yes, that paper. And it is it's amazing. It's purple. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that it's purple. Have a great day, Amy. Bye, Amy. Oh, thank you, thank Amanda. You for coming. Miss you, love. It's purple. I don't know if you guys can tell that it's purple. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Purple cream and all that. It How matches my doing? hair. How you doing? Yeah, it totally matches your hair. Are these lilacs? I think they're lilacs. Mm, they look like it. Kinda. Yeah. Anyways, I I'm like these. Let's see. I think these. Wait, this is lavender, but this kind of looks like it, Michelle. And this is lavender. Oh, that kind of looks like it too. Could be mm -hmm. lavender. I don't know who else got I it. Really it my myself, so. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who won this one at the sale. And I call it a lavender question. It's like lush. I oh, love no worries, Lisa. It happens. It's autocorrect. It does it on its own. <laughs> no biggie. I'm used to it. Hey, Becky. How are you? It's awesome. Hey, Becky. Haven't seen you forever, girl. What's yep. up? Yeah. So today, um, I got on a kick, y'all. I'm on a kick. Oh, and I got these. Hi, Roxanne. Amazing. I don't know if I can do it without that. These are doilies. Look at all these doilies. I got these from Michelle with two L's. Um, from the virtual market. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen so many different doilies. This one is that antique. Ah, oh, oh, these. I don't even want to open the package. She just packaged it beautifully. Oh, wow. They're all doilies. They're just gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to open those. I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to open those yet. This is just ink. It's not grease. I was, this is my inking paper. Um, I'm going to kick. Uh, I have a book. It's a James Patterson book. I don't oh, think that's Oh, your sister, Becky. Wow. What happened? Her sister is having brain surgery yeah, right now yeah how, how they how they do they with that. Flip, uh, aneurysm mm, my mother-in-law had one of those wow sending prayers for sure absolutely lisa says i have the same one michelle all her stuff was gorgeous i know right gorgeous absolutely gorgeous stuff um I altered this book. This was just an, a book that um, I don't read the cross series, so I don't even know why it was in my book. I must have got it in a book lot. I don't know. Um, I do read his other ones, like the, the Ladies Murder series, all that kind of stuff. But I altered it, and if you know how to okay. know about altering a book, it's pretty much you save three pages, rip out seven, save three pages, rip out seven. So then it becomes a very thin book. And then what you do with it, like I'm going to cover that up. Um, I want to cover this book. I think I'm going to do it with the Italian paper. And I'm going to do my spine with an old piece of ledger that I have. Because I, I want all the, you know, cricks of the book to show. And then this page is pretty much done because there's nothing there, but I need to hide this. So all you start doing is just collaging and making it your own papers and everything. And I thought since in my group, um, since we were studying laces that I would make this my um, kind of a scrappy lace book because I got some vintage laces that you guys will see shortly. Becky um, wants to know if you glued the three pages together. No, I did not. I did not because I'm going to collage on them. So that will give me my sturdiness. So I did not glue the three pages together. Um, 
But since we're studying laces in the group, um, which my Facebook group is linked down below or linked in the description box. Actually, I can see it if I'm just looking at the YouTube right now. Um, please go over there and one of the admins will go ahead and add admin you in. <laughs> Admin you in. I will admin you in. I'll do it after the show. I don't have very, I don't pull up any windows while I'm on because obviously I have a crap internet. Um, but I think that's what I want to do is make that lace, um, make this like a lace. I showed you guys that lace book from 19 or 1880, 1881, mm -hmm. that lace magazine. Yeah. And I want to collect all those laces and put the picture. I don't know about chopping up that magazine, though, you guys. I think I'm going to just write the name and then just keep track of the laces that way and what kind of stitch and everything it is. That's my plan for this book. I have never, ever kept one of my books, ever. Ever. I don't journal. I'm not ever. a journaler. Which reminds me. I can mention three people, Laurel, me, um, and Angie. Uh, we attended a Zoom class this weekend, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, it was Journal Breeze, which is actually linked on my Facebook group. Um, there was two other ladies who came from the group, but I'll let them say if they want to say that they were there. Um, but I can say, yeah, Angie said, yes, we did. It was fun. Mm -hmm. it was a class and what it was, uh, the organizer, Kimberly, um, basically made it um, a salon type place where women get together. We were joined by professional journalers um, because, like I said, I'm not a journaler. I would rather I I you know, I don't keep my journals. I, and we did some prompts, which was actually kind of cool. And it was, was cool. It was neat. Um, but it's going to go on throughout the year. Um, it's donation only and half of it goes to St. Jude. Um, so that Zoom class, I thought it was just a brilliant idea. So kudos to Kimberly for having us. And that was a lot of fun. Um, we met this lady from Transylvania. Oh, she was amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was so cool. I'm not going to say any names, but she, oh, uh, she, and we did these journal prompts and she wrote and I could have listened to her all day. What a brilliant writer. I, it was yeah. wonderful. It was such a cool Zoom class. Um, it was, it was, it's a great idea. It's really cool. Um, so we all just got together. Everybody was mute off. And um, I think there was like 15 of us. Maybe close. A dozen. There was a good dozen um, of us. And it was just a lot of fun. And her link is on my uh, Facebook page. And I do believe her website is up because her and her husband were working on it. And we did get the very, very, very first preview yeah, of it did. along with her. Yeah. She was seeing it for the first time, too. <laughs> so we were giving her ideas. And, you know, Angie, of course, own, uh, has Mountain Girl Studio, that website, which is linked below. Hi, Donna Ryan. How are you? Um, Hi, Donna. It's linked below along with her YouTube channel. Um, and you can get some great stuff off of there. I got my itty bitty. Uh, my gosh, Angie, we just can't get off the itty bitty. Sorry. But I got my um, ephemera holder from. I popped her cherry. I was the first one to buy. <laughs> oh and God. I love it. Like this rusty, crusty bit. Oh, I love it. And this this bell's all over it. It makes noise. It's cool. It's just, I just feel it. And it's, it's so Angie. I love it. Love her work. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. What are you working on, Laurel? I said, I'm just going to be putzing around. I'm working on some uh, things for my Taddy planner. Just be okay, bopping. So let's a little bit of that. So yeah. Oh, sorry, oh. Becky, I bought it. <laughs> she said, love that one. 
She has other things you can get. Maybe you could talk her into making you one. It's really cute. Um, love it. It is. I know. It has uh, it has one as well. She bought one not too long ago, and I actually got to touch it and. Oh, oh my god, I looked at it about 10 times, just all the little different things in it. The texture it's about everything. It's and we got a sneak peek the other night of what she's working on. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. say, but I was gonna do it today, but I decided not to because I because I told her I said I'm totally stealing that idea. Like flat out, I'm we are stealing it, but we want Angie to come yeah. on and do it. But Angie can show it first, and then yeah. I will go ahead and steal your idea, Angie. Yeah, but I'm just gonna be working in this. I even thought yeah. um, I could do like a set, like the this is called the middle period, and this is called the cop. Uh, the colonies and um, this book is actually black. This is blue. This is blue. Not that it matters because I'm going to co cover them. But um, some of those images, especially, let me get my my big old music scrapbook out of the way. She's so pretty. She'll be filmed, so you guys will be able to see her a lot better. Um, but I thought that going with the purple italian marbled paper this has purples in it i thought that i could cover and use these so i might be ripping some papers out of this um oh, she said Haha, okay i'll make the video tonight and upload it you two are too sweet thank you you're welcome please so we can steal it please mm -hmm. uh, and i was also going to come on and oh my gosh, you guys, I have, I have so much. Um, I was also going to come on and I was going to make the homemade paper that uh, Natasha from Treasure Books is doing. But I've seen um, a lot of people's videos on it and I thought you guys don't want to see this stuff again. So anyways, I have plans on making my own handmade quote unquote paper. Um, so let's gonna do that but i think i'll work on alter journal uh books instead because i've never done this yeah i'm gonna have to do that I, i've seen it before where they do that but i never think about doing that i always rip the whole inside out oh uh, the altered yeah yeah and and i'm uh becky is right about gluing the three pages together and making right. it a lot sturdier but i'm going to be collaging on probably both sides so i think that that's going to make it sturdy enough right and what i'm putting in is just going to be laces in the one i think the other one could be like a fabric because i have some favorite favorite fabrics you know how i am about my tapestry leslie um, i'm gonna and then I have some favorite cottons that i like leslie well. if you hit the drop down bar you will find angie's channel just hit the drop down bar and her link is in the in the drop down bar. Yes. If not, um, Angie, you can go grab your link. You do have a wrench. Um, you can please put that in there. Your studio and your YouTube. But they're both linked at the bottom. At the bottom. So <clears throat> I don't know. If you guys know, this is this is how I did mine. I, I've never altered a book before, but I kept the end pages because they were clear or clear, clear. clear. Oh That's my clear. gosh, Angie's favorite color, clear, because they have nothing on them. And then um, there's a really cool flip out. Some of you got these at my last sale. There's a really cool flip out there, and it's a map. I hear the phone ringing. It's okay. I am. Not getting rid of those. Call from Glitter. I am. Answer the phone, Matlock. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do live with my sister, and that's the home phone. It it only rings oh, when I'm on live. This book is 1893. It's the colonies. Um, the cool thing about this is that um when i start taking pages out of this 
uh, and look at the yummy watermark. I don't know if you can see the watermark at the bottom. It's really like grungy yummy. Um, but they're going to fit. Oh, look, there's a flip out in the back, too. Oh, my gosh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, this is going to be fun. This might be, oh, there's three. Look at her. Ooh, ooh. I know, right? This is like. Oh, I'm guessing she hasn't looked at the book before. No, I, I really, I really didn't. I mean, I, I always go through them to make sure like there's nothing icky in them and that they're proper. Oh, look, there's even a tip in for a tip in right here. That's cool. So those of you who bought these books, um, I saved one for myself. That's right. I did. Um, so I'm, that's how I'm going to use mine. Uh, this one, because I want to do one for tapestry and I want to do one for fabrics. So this one would probably have to be my cotton fabrics. And I want to do um, probably cotton fabric and wallpaper because I have some favorite wallpapers that I've kept back. Um, and then the bigger book will be um, my cool laces. And then the medium sized book will be probably tapestry. So I just start ripping pages after I get after these. Oh, Siobhan wants to know, hey, Michelle, will you glue the laces to the pages? Or how will you attach them? Good question. I think what I want to do. Oh, wow. This is a really, really old book. So taking these pages out is going to be hard. Um, when, like back in the old days uh, when they used to, uh, when you see the old ledger paper with a stick pin. I think I want to stick pin them because it's only going to be me touching the book and I'm going to be aware that they're stick pins. Thank you, Angie, for putting those, up, or Sonia, for putting that up. Um, you're awesome. Um, so I think I want to stick pin them and I have rusted. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on my page. I did a bunch of rusting, but I, I rusted, where are they at? Here. I rested these really cool T pins. Um, and I think that I want to stick the T pins in. I don't know if you guys know it. That's a T pin. Yep. Used to use those when I did my stiffening crochet. Yeah. Back. So I think that's team. what I want to do. And because they're already rusted, it makes it look old. I think it's a cool idea. I mean, I have a bunch of rusted bits and stuff like that that I could use. Okay, I have a question for you, too. Okay. So you're passing three and you're ripping out seven, but you said you're not gluing the three together. Now, isn't that supposed to be just so it's that one page because you're going to add stuff to it and isn't it going to just make it, you know, widen right back out? Um, I passed. Actually, I passed five. Let's take this one out, too. Um, and then I'm going to take out one, two, three, four, five. Do you know what I, do you understand what I, you know? I understand what, what I'm saying. asking. Yeah. Um, is it going to make it gator mouth? Yeah. Like, you're you're going to collage on each one of those um, when that should technically be one page on one side, one page on the other. You're going to collage, yeah, three, which is going to make it six pages. Yeah, like, so you're saying, like, glue those two together, glue these two together, but this is a cool fold out. Yeah, you don't want to glue that in. I, I don't, know. I don't want to follow the form. form. I just want to think outside the box and kind right. of do it my own because I don't keep, I usually don't keep any of my stuff. Good afternoon, Jean. So I kind of, somebody wrote with pencil there. And Siobhan oh, says, ooh, rusty pin, fabulous. The what? Siobhan said, rusty pins, fabulous. Oh, I got rusty pins, rusty, you name it. I rusted. Nothing stood a chance. You should see my whole box. Yeah, Amanda was thinking like me. She's like, maybe it would work better if you did one page and then ripped out the next three pages since you're collaging and bulk, 
bulking up the page, but I understand you're kind of doing it your own way. I'm the same way. Got to make yeah, it. Yeah, I kind of just want to do, you know, I don't like, uh, I don't want to, I don't follow the norm. I like, I like perfectly imperfect. And if it goes gator mouth, that's cool. I'll just make another book. If it looks like it's headed that way, or I'll rip out more pages. Um, right. But the proper way would be, yes, to glue your pages together. Um, what exactly what Becky said, that would be the proper way. And exactly what Amanda would, is saying would be the proper way. But you know me, I do everything the hard way and perfectly imperfect. Yep. <laughs> So that's how, that's why I'm doing it. Okay. I'm going to switch my camera and I'm going to get playing too. So are you going to start putzing? I'm going to start putzing. Okay. I don't mind gator mouth e either. So ma'am, I really don't. And I, it's just that this book is really old. So ripping the pages out is kind of do many things with pins siobhan i add rusty washers to the top attached with wire you can put a piece of paper on each side of the pin making them stick up on the top of the book stick up yep or yep. um angie's got that brain that we all want you know oh yeah um and uh also when i got angie's um ephemera book she had it in a bag and she used a rusted bolt to tie the um seam binding through and it was just amazing okay that's how bad the lag was that it just now changed my screen on youtube that's how long the lag is get your palm miles out of there <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hold on. I'll get the bag. I will get the bag down. This is what it came with. And sorry, I already took off the bolt because I like the bolt. Mm -hmm. But I'm in this shabby. And this has encaustic on it. It's just amazing. And look at this little clip with the key, which is both Angie and I's signature, and it's got two little pink beads on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was the wraparound for the book, which I kept up there. This is up on my inspiration board. Look at that bag. Ah, that bag is just yum. It's grubby. It's just... It's yummy. And then there's a little message from Angie on the back, but I love the way that I love the way she writes my name. I have her, I have it all over my inspiration board. I have I see it four times up there. This is the fifth time. Well wow, that's I get so love Angie's work. Absolutely. So yeah. Let me put, let me put it all back. Let me put it all back. Let me put it all back. And put it all back. Probably need to back away now, right? I'm probably super cool. I, I still don't even see me working on YouTube. It's so The lag is so bad. You are. I see you. Yeah, if you're looking at me on StreamYard. Yeah, I just now. But I've no, been doing I see you on YouTube. You're gluing something. No, I'm already gessoing. Oh, yeah, you're gessoing. You see me on YouTube gessoing? I do. What is up with my lag? I don't oh, understand. You better refresh. Is your is your button red? I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. You want no, me. no, my thing button's not red. <laughs> well, that is now. You there, Ralph? Oh my goodness! See yourself now? Yep, I see myself now. Becky's <laughs> even like, I see you, Jessica. <laughs> I didn't see me just going. Ooh, tough guy out there with this mean sounding car. We didn't hear it. So, so anyway, good. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work on the one that I've already started. 
Yeah, I have about a gazillion million ideas in my head and I'm trying to just, I have to kind of just, my ideas seem to come as I'm working on things already. So I try to plan ahead for some stuff, but my ideas usually come as I start playing with things. It's really it, weird. I know, right? As I'm sure all of us struggle with, there's a, like, there's a million things I want to teach you guys. So just a million I, I have a list of a million things of videos and everything that i want to make and i just it just seems like um i just get sidetracked or i see another video i myself i try not to watch youtube videos because i have learned from early on that if i watch a youtube video forget it yeah, that's it. All my okay. idea, and yeah, that's why I went away yeah. for a while too. I'm like, oh nope, gotta try that. Like that treasure books, um, Natasha, uh, doing the handmade paper. I was like, oh, I gotta go pick some flowers. So I was out in my garden, not my garden. I should say my one lone flower pot <laughs> got riddled. Um, and then to dry my stuff out, I just put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. However, though, I had some kind of uh -oh. really really thin <laughs> like um it's a purple flower and it's really really thin and that kind of sparked a little brush fire in my microwave and it was microwaving on a paper paper plate so just be careful <laughs> use adult oh i should have had adult supervision <laughs> um yeah i kind of set it on fire a little bit but my sink's right there, so I just put it right in the sink, and I started it over, and I just didn't put those in. It was this stuff right here. And he says, get those zillions of ideas out. And I'm I trying. I, you guys, I'm trying so hard. I it's do crazy. have a good day at work. It was this stuff that caught on fire. <laughs> it was bad. Um. But I just threw it and it stunk for a little bit. Jane's like, what are you cooking? I'm like, really? Does that smell appetizing? Because <laughs> I'm not cooking anything. Who's going to work? Uh, Jean has to go back to work. Okay, Jean. Have a good have day. A work. Good day Thanks for popping in. You know, I'm barely doing anything. How do I have gesso all over me already? Come on now. Because you're putzing. I'm going to try some different things today and see how it works out. So we'll see what happens. We're going to add some texture to this. And Is that how you kill your uh, mildew, Shaban? What? She said she puts her book in the microwave. She said, uh, well, I set a book on fire in the microwave trying to kill the mildew smell. Um, I know you can stick it in the freezer. I know you can use kitty litter and a bag of kitty litter. What, Sonia? She said, Sherby. Yes, yeah, Sonia. Yeah, don't be yeah. putting dry things. I don't think it's good to do that in the microwave. I don't know. That's just my thought on it. She said, yes, I was supposed to do something. Yeah. She I would say just put your right. oven on 200, stick your stuff on a pan, and sit it in there for a few minutes. I use kitty litter because the charcoal in the kitty litter extracts all of the smell. Oh, you just wanted, okay. Oh, okay. She just wanted me to acknowledge her. Thank you, Sonia. I see you, honey. I see you. Okay, I'm going to look down from chat. No, if you get Becky won't if you get unscented kitty litter. Now, if you get like the floral smell, yeah, but that just makes your book smell even better. So I don't see a negative in that. Um, I know charcoal, um, because I heard that for like cleaning out your fridge. Like if you stick charcoal in uh nylons and stick it in your fridge, it absorbs all the odors. Yes. Almost much like baking soda, yes. I know you can't be good, Sonia. <laughs> I know you can't be. 
Okay, here I go. All right, looking down. Here you go. I, I need my stuff. I didn't even get my stuff out. Oh, you guys. Oh, look. Oh, here she not Squirrel. goes. Squirrel. Here she not goes. <laughs> look at these cool. They're called the. Um, they're from Nostalgics. Um, they're the Attic Collection, and they're um. They're paper clips. <laughs> what are those? They're paper clips. Where did you get those? I'm not going to tell you where I got oh. them. It's a secret. But you'll see them soon if okay. that is any kind of indication. This one has a bingo chip, a dice. This is the um, Icon series. Um, they're called Nostalgics. Um, they're by Rebecca Sauer or Sower. Um, either way, Sour Sower. Look, there's an S for my last name. I love it. And then there's a different series. And this one's called Destinations. And this has maps and um, really cool script on the paper clips. And then I have one more that's called Findings. And this has a ruler on it. Oh, my no. God. This you one has a rose, about the this one has a key, a rose and a key. I absolutely love them. Um, this is my stash, but maybe I will be sharing soon. You never know. Never know what's coming up in your lives, huh? Could be some good stuff. Okay. Covering a book. Oh, I was getting yes. a look. Okay. We've gone squirrel long enough now. Covering a book. Covering a book. All right. I need this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm use my you can not do that. Bring it closer. Back what? up. You need to back out your camera a little bit, Michelle. You're like really close. <laughs> Am I really close? You know what's gonna happen is I don't have my lodge check. Have up. a great day, Ange. See you later. Yes, I am, Angie. Hey, thanks for stopping in. They weren't supposed to be sitting there, but they I were. I have these purple hearts for Laurel. <laughs> Why? Uh, there should be some pink. Oh, you can't see it. Bring it closer. Oh, you wanted to I see the paper. You're like so close. I think she's being funny. I don't know. I'll ask her again. Are you being serious? <laughs> He's like, one L. Do you no, have I, autofocus on? No, no I never have my autofocus on. Never. No, it's just her camera likes to go in and out and play, do funky yeah. things for it's us. Crap, Angela. I ordered the Ethernet, um, uh, the Ethernet cable. So it should be better. And, and my drink the coffee right now. <laughs> My camera thing's going to say no camera detected watch. Because I brought up my Logi after I turned it on. No, you should bring it up after you turn it on. Uh, That's how you can move forward and back. This is spinning. That's perfect. I didn't touch anything. Yeah, you went back one. I didn't. I, I'm right here. I have not touched a button. All right. Well, I'm telling you it backed up because you were a lot closer a second ago. Yep, it says camera not available. No, the camera's not available, but you can use your controls. Uh huh. So you want me closer, or I'm as far as away as I can be? Yeah, I don't know if she wants. She's like, seriously, I can't see any details. Yeah, that's just that's just her camera, Amanda. It goes yeah. in and out. It it's has a Amanda, I'm sure. Yeah, it's not letting me move in or out. Hmm. I could leave and come back. I you're fine. I gotta wash real quick. You're just ripping out pages of a book. I'm sure we'll be okay. No, actually I'm gluing now. Hmm. Anyways. There, can you see them? I gotta wash the gesso here. These are the paper clips. They're the nostalgics, the attic collection. I have bunches, let's just say, and I'm going to share. 
Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. All right, I'm turning off this Logitech crap because I can't see. Oh, okay. I will show them all to you. Um, I do need gloves when I play. <laughs> this one's the icons. I make a mess. Yeah, see, I can see them. And it has, like, that's a bingo, um, a dice, an S. Um, hold on. Let me see. There's a little rose on there. That's the icon. And then there's... Maybe if you pull them out of the plastic, Michelle? Um, I could. Well, how you get them? Oh, yeah. Sure, they open at the bottom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, Amanda. Here you go. Try it that way. And this is the findings one. Let me turn this light off for a second. This is the findings one. This has like the number four. There's a rose. There's a, a key. Um, they're just they're beautiful. And they're by Rebecca Sauer Sower. S O W E R. Good luck finding them. <laughs> because on Amazon is really expensive. <laughs> but like I said, stay tuned. Stay tuned. So that was the final. I'll take this one out for you and I'll reshow the icon. They're really lovely. Um, the findings is a brass um, paper clip. These are silver. And this one has the dice, of course, the bingo card, the flower, the S. I hope you can see that. I know that my, it's crap. I know. Oh, I'm just, I'm playing with gesso and some, um, I'm going to play with some pastels in a second. I'm just trying to make some backgrounds on these right now just to give them some color and stuff because you guys know I love my color. I'm just waiting for the scaffold to dry a little bit. The next one, the last one is Destinations. And this is all kinds of maps and words and postal stamps. And this one, ah, this one has like the full postal round circle stamp on it. Let me try and get the glare off. I know. It just looks like a blab and a blurb. Um, and these are, I would say, bronze uh, bronzy color as well for the paper clip. So the only one that's silver was the last one. But that's my stash of them. Yeah. All right, I'm getting stuff to paint now. Oh my gosh, I have digis everywhere. That's what happens when you print here. I want to do some stamping in here. You know what stamp I'm looking for. I can find it. There it is. There she belongs. All right. I think I got some flowers somewhere. There they are. Because, you know, the... I mean, I can show you the kit I'm using, you guys, that I'm going to be putting in my planner. And let's see if anybody can guess which one it is. <laughs> And you're not allowed it's to say. It's a Josati planner. You're not allowed to say. Yes, glossy accents is really nice. Be back in a bit, y'all. Okay. We'll be here. All right. Let's see where I put it. Let's leave it. 
That's my rusted fabric. Do you guys remember seeing that picture that uh, all the stuff was laying on my back patio? So here's the kit I'm using, and I'm sure you guys all know what it is. Let me move these out of the way because I don't want to wreck my paper. But yes, yes, indeed. Is that not beautiful or what? Well, what is that? Beautiful, beautiful. What do you mean, what is that? Huh? Oh, no, that's your kit. Yes, this is my the kit. The kit. This is the Lorella kit. Well, whoa. Yep, I remember that when that came out. I've been on her design team for almost three years. I don't have a Michelle kit. Who's froze? It's called the Lorella kit, Sonia. Who's frozen? Is it her or me? Can anyone hear us? Lorella's froze. Lorella, you're froze. Oh, she left. She left. She'll be back. Yeah, this is rusted. Um, oh, cool. You can still hear me. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's not my crappy internet. Yay. Um, this was the rusted uh, piece of fabric that I laid all that stuff out on. I'm going to show, look at this, where where the washers were with the circles. Oh, look at that grungy yumminess. Yeah, my picture looks like crud. That looks yummy, though. Don't worry, Ethan, that cord on the way. It's on the way. Lorel's having a hard time finding her way back. We'll just sit here and wait. I'll be back in a minute. We just lost. Oh, okay. We just lost, I'm going to say, internet. Do I have a rusting video? No, Amanda. But I now have a tripod. Here she is. She's back. Oh, okay. Welcome back. We just uh you're all which call I'm that? I'm all pixel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, puppy. Hold on, Laurel. You're all robotic and that just scared the crap out of me. Okay, try it again. All right. There you go. Now you sound better. Okay. Phew. It's like, what the hey? Is everything good? Yep. Okay. Okay. Back to what are you saying, Sonia? So this is the this is the one page of the kit that's the most important because it has my name. Laurel's ladies book. It has my birth date, December 1964. It has my favorite color, purple. So yeah. So this is the kit I'll be using um, in my planner along with some other beautiful things, of course, but I've got everything all cut out and ready to go. Hey, what's those crayon thing looking things that you got by you? These are pastels. I'm doing some mush mush on this page over here some mush mush, <laughs> mush, while mush. You're putzing, huh yep well i'm putzing. gonna do some mush mush what kind of language do you speak <laughs> mush, mush, <laughs> while I'm, putzing. I'm just gonna be playing with some call i'm just playing i'm just trying to see what i can do because i can always cover it if it doesn't turn out the way i want to but anyway i was looking for stamps that's what i was getting i want to stamp on here first Oh, it's Sorry. on you right now while I get my glue stuff ready. Okay. So I have these beautiful stamps. And the reason these are one of my favorites, because this is kind of how my brain works. And I'm sure you guys have seen these stamps before, but I will explain anyway. Ooh, pretty so 
Yes, I, these are gorgeous. So in this butterfly, and I'm going to show you the picture because you'll see it a lot better. In this butterfly is a fairy, is the center of the body. Um, let me get something white behind it here. Let's do this. You'll see it better. So that's a fairy right there. That's a fairy butterfly. That's a fairy butterfly. There's mushrooms, flowers, um, leaves. So all these different things make up this butterfly. In the dragonfly, there is birds. Here's a bird right here up the center. This is a bug. Oh my there's, gosh, there is a bird. There's a bird right here on this side, a bird on this side, and oh. then some flowers. So I love these because they're things that make up things. This hummingbird right here, that is a butterfly. A butterfly, and this is a butterfly that makes up the wings and the face of the hummingbird. And then at the bottom is feathers, and then another butterfly. Aren't those cool? And then in the ladybug, we've got a fairy right here. Um, some flowers. It's like sometimes you have to turn them over to, to see what you're supposed to be seeing. Um, and the flower is butterflies. There's a butterfly here. These are all butterflies that make up this flower. So I just think those are, these are like the coolest stamps ever. What? Yeah, and it took me a long time to find them. I absolutely love these, so I think She's I'm gonna, gonna do them where you found them. Are you? Hi, Therese. How, How are, are you? you? Long time no see is right. Hi, Therese. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome. I'm trying to say I need the Laurel kit, but my phone changes it to Norella. Yep, I am. I am on Norella's design team. That's why it used that name. Oh, I never heard that. Um, it's it's the kit by Tracy Fox, of course. So I'm going to do a part of a okay, butterfly. Here comes the question, here. girl. Are you going to answer it or are you not? What? Where'd you get them stamps at, Lorraine? Um, where did I get these? You know what? They're by Inkadinkadoo.com. I don't. I can't tell you where I got them. I might have found these a Tuesday morning, though I don't see a Tuesday morning label on here. So I don't remember where these came from, but I absolutely love these stamps. Dinka, dinka, do. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp on here first. Some butterfly and some archival ink. Let's get my black. Maybe brown. Black or brown? I think brown. So I just have the little tiny pads, but they will work. Got it. Oh, I could probably use my. Let's call it. We'll just do it this way so I can get more ink on my hands. Don't mind me. I'm just folding wax paper over here. You're fine. Making lots of noise. Let's see. All covered. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want most of the picture in here. And it's not all going to fit, but that's okay. I don't have a problem with that because I'm just playing and we can always cover it up if it doesn't work. So we're just going to go like this and press very lightly. I don't want to mush, which I think I already am. And plus I'm doing it on gesso, so it's probably going to give a blurred effect anyway. Good enough. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now I need a BB wipe. I'm trying to get out of that. Do you hear me telling myself? It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. Exactly. There <laughs> are no mistakes. Myself that. There's no mistakes. You will be fine. Just do whatever you want. It is yours. Make it your own. Okay, this is really hard to pick out paper. So I had another tip for you guys. Um, you guys know how I am about my tips. So I know I see a lot of ladies with their mats that are kind of destroyed by paint and things like that. And a lot of stuff generally won't take it off. Like this archival ink already has 
stained this piece right here. But I'm going to show you something that will help you in cleaning pretty much any surface. On some of them, I'm sure you'll have to be careful maybe, but I use it a lot. Let me get it and I'll show you. This water won't clean that or anything, but I know it will. I'm sure we all have these by now, but I clean like surfaces that have like the little grooves in them, like certain desks and stuff, but good old fashioned magic eraser, they clean everything. And we're all gone. So I use them a lot in my crafts because they clean up, they just clean everything. That's a good idea. They clean uh, jewelry really well, too, let me tell you. <laughs> I never thought about that. So let's put this one back. Okay. So I got a butterfly. I think I might want to add a leaf. Let's see. Let's see. This one? One of these. There you go. Sonia the found the Inka Dinka Do stamp set Mindscapes Butterfly Dragonfly Hummingbird 991. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, you're welcome. You go. Hey, Sonia, you won't put that link up in the group. That's fine. So everybody can find it. Um, I yeah, meant to put up the. Awesome. Um, the antique papery link as well in the group um, for the 353 images for $8. That to me is, uh, I saw it and I text Laurel last night and I'm like, um, antique papery has 353 designs, 20 kits on sale for $8 run. <laughs> and she was like on my way. <laughs> and this was like midnight. Oh yeah. <laughs> So at midnight, uh, I told her, I was like, I got mine. She's like, I got mine. So I was up till about, because oh, Laurel can do hers really, really fast. I'm not really fast at downloading or savvy, tech savvy. So I figured it out. She helped me um, before. So I just used, redid her steps for that again. And um, about two, I finished mine, and then I got engrossed in a movie, and I was up to like four. Seriously, you were supposed to go to bed, Michelle. I know, and I told mm -hmm. you I was, but I got engrossed mm -hmm. in a movie. Couldn't help it. It was Pride and Prejudice. Gotta oh, yeah, you're going watch it every time it's on. <laughs> gotta watch Mr. Dusty. Another one of my favorites now is um, uh, Five Feet Apart. Five Feet Apart. Never heard yeah. of it. Oh, go watch it. It's it was on it, it was on Family yesterday, so it might be on again. But oh my goodness! I have Netflix. If it's on Netflix, I'm not watching it. I can't. If it's not on Netflix, yeah, Netflix, then no. I have CBS. I have not seen it. All right. Why is my chat not catching up here? What is there? We go. I mean, like, just says she loves by feet apart. All right. I have to go out of YouTube and go back in because my thing is being weird. It's like not catching up. Make sure you're in live chat, not that. I will. It's just from when I got booted out, it wasn't catching up. So it should be fine now. Soon as it decides to come on, whenever that may be. There we go. All right, all caught up. You love Five Feet Apart too, Amanda. I've watched it five times now. Uh, just something about it. This is What's one of the for the stamps. Oh, are there different ones? Oh, you're gonna make me go look now, Sonia. Come on now. Won't be doing this to me. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, eBay has them. Wow, that's pretty cheap. That's awesome. Snatch them up. Sherby, which 
other link do you want me to grab? Um, you can do the antique papery one if you want and put it up in the group. That would be great. I just did this the wrong way. Yes, the Lavender Dreams. Yes, it is really pretty. I think I already have it. <laughs> if there's purple out there, I pretty much already have it. That's like the first thing I look for when I go hunt for digis. And it's like, wait, Laurel. I would like to make every journal in purple, but, you know, I have learned that I need to use other colors. So I'm like, you can't buy every single digital kit in purple. Although I do know how to change the colors. So, oh, that one turned out really pretty. This one's really smudgy. I wonder if we could find a way to redo that one because it is like really smudgy. This is like super crisp. Wonder if I could just all over that and do it again. I might want to. See, here's here comes the perfection part. I can't help it. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> it's rough. It is rough. All right, now this one. Love this art. I have a ink pad. Go off me. Go this way with it. Yeah, I may have to cover that butterfly and do it again. Because I should have put some pieces of paper. See now my see now my brain's starting to work. It's like should have done this, should have done that. Let's do that. Let's add a little piece of music in here. Let's do that. Let's get some music paper in here. Let's add a little piece of paper over here like that. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. Sure, I do. love the deep I totally sea. Do. Yeah, I like that one too, Amanda. If I never if I never use digis, what is the best paper to print on? Um well it depends wow. on what, you, what you're doing, Lou. Like I print some on one ten card stock, some on 28, some on 24. Um, I'm just on 110. Um, right. Hi, Keisha. How are you, honey? Hi, Keisha. Um, I print on uh, 110. I print on my tea dyed paper. I yeah. print on uh, legal size. I print on I print on anything. And my com my printer hates me. <laughs> it really hates me. You and me both. I print on just about. All right, did I glue the wrong side down? Of course you did, Laura. We'll just do this this way, like that. We're just playing. Oh, I'm glad you're doing one, Sherilyn. That's cool. I want to see pictures in the group, please. What is she doing? I don't know. I don't think you've joined, but please join my Facebook group. It's at the bottom. That way we can post your epic markets because I'm using uh, Cheryl Wilms paper right now to alter my book. That was absolutely the best two days. Amanda and I were troopers and Liz. <laughs> that was a good time. That was a great time. Very welcoming crowd. It was really fun. Really fun. And someone forgot to invite me. Yeah, I didn't tell anybody about it. Uh-huh. It was so good. <laughs> it was really good. It was. It was. It was yeah, really good. You know, I had some I great do. colors on. Barbara and all of them. They were just, they are fantastic. She did a great job. <laughs> a great job. It was good. It was really good. All right. So I have where I have. I use the Georgia Pacific, but I think the hammer mill is probably pretty good too. I know it is. But. Um, I use hammer mill. Is what I use. I use what I can afford. That's that's about how it is. Hit. He just says, "Sure thing, one L." <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, somebody, uh, Keisha, I don't have my fa uh, my Facebook or anything pulled up because I have a crap picture and crap internet right now. Um, so if one of the admins that doesn't add you, uh, I'll get you in as soon as I get off here, hon. I think Sonia's pulling double duty, though, so. All right. I, I appreciate you, Sonia. Sonia, I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to try and cover this and redo it because I don't like how blotchy it is. So I'm going well, to. I love your ring. Oh, they, oh, thank you. Which one? <laughs> I've got four. Oh, I bet you it's this one, right? Yes, I have earrings to match. But yes, all my purple rings. Yep, I've become the jewelry person again. I didn't wear jewelry for a long, long time. So I have my nose ring in. I have five earrings on each side. I have five holes. So I've got earrings in all five on each side. I'm not going to say what I said earlier. Yeah, don't say it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. Nope. We're not. We're not. I'm not going to say it. was <laughs> fun. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I need to do this with this. All right, so that's those. Now I gotta fix this one. So now I gotta pull the brush out again in the gesso. I want to fix it. But see, this is kind of what I do when I putt, and this is the only way I can work. Hello, Michelle. I used to talk with you long ago on your live. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Pruitt. Valerie. How are you? I remember you. I absolutely remember you. How are you? It's good to I see you. Remember you. Welcome back. Sure me, sure me, tell me the digital again. Speak slow for me. I was searching for the wrong thing. They're called antique papery. P A P E R I E. Yeah. Um, I can look right now too. Hold on. What? I still have the link up if you need it. Oh, you want her to put it in the group though? Mm-hmm. Valerie, it's really good to have you back. Of course I remember you. That's awesome. Um, Keisha, right now, Antique Papery is selling 20 digital kits, 353 pages for $8. We all ran over and got them. Well, we got ours last night, but yep. we're telling you today. And they are amazing. Yes, She's they are. retiring the kit, so it's nice to have that. Because you can just mix I'm and match. I'm and... doing good, Valerie. I'm really happy to have you back. And in case any of you didn't know, Tracy has a new kit out. Yes, she does. Got it today. Um, it's called Admins. I showed it a little bit earlier. I'll probably show it before we go. Even, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with my junk internet, but I'll do it again. I'll try it again. Um, I printed it out first thing. It's yummy. It is yummy. It's my, it's my colors. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Sonia says, I will grab it. You keep working, even though we can't see you, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have it on just me, Michelle. Can you make yeah, it? Yeah, I know I do. Why? Because I wasn't doing anything at the time. Hold on. Keisha, if you go over to Antique Papery on mm -hmm. Etsy, she has a 20 kit thing going on it it's all 20 in one um 353 pages for eight dollars of digital $8. it's on sale it was twenty dollars which made it one dollar a kit but it's on sale i think it's 60 percent off and it's eight bucks and we got them all yeah um give me one second i'm just gluing my 
taper down on my book here. My Italian paper from Cheryl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, oh my God. I love it. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how good this feels. Um, where did that um, piece of paper go? Oh, for Pete said, whoa, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, you get, um, and this is for everyone coming in, you get a kit called Back to Nature, Civil War, Covington, Darling, French Dance, which that's the one I printed out and showed you guys, Garden Trellis, um, Historical Pattern, Lazy Sunday, Mermaid, Lush Forest, Monroe, Nightingale, which is another one that I printed out 70,000 times because my stupid <laughs> um uh the paloma the pretty things is gorgeous the santa kit was beautiful and i don't really go with theme and the terracotta boho very pretty uh the tea party beautiful the nautical pretty the steampunk punk floral was just cool and the scottish garden absolutely yes. beautiful. absolutely beautiful Come on, Jesso, dry, dry, Jesso, dry. Need some on the corner. Get those corners down. And this, um, because I put, I use Mod Podge, which is water based. It has warped the cover of my book. Um, so it has warped the paper a little bit, but I like it. I don't need perfect. I really don't. I like it. I keep telling myself that. Yeah, you don't need perfect. Well, but I keep telling this myself is really that. warped on the front. It's, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So now it's time for me to. That is gorgeous. I can tell you that. And I will not be getting, I will we'll be, be here, Rose. Using these for a scrap. Okay, Luz. Luz is going to go by. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jeff. So dry. It's like bleeding right through. Come on. You can do it. You might have to cover it with some paper. Oh, yeah. Those are not going in the trash bin. They're going in the scrap bin. Usually I duck mouth my corners. I'm not this time. I'm going straight and straight. I think I'm going to try the other sample. I'm waiting for this to dry. Okay. Let's get some paper. I need some paper on here or something. I need something. Let's get a piece of white paper. Right we can rip up. Like that. And then maybe some over here. Because I can always re-punch the holes. We'll put some here. And this is cool. Like these little scraps that kept the flowers on them. I'm going to use those up my pages. This one Hi, I cannot. Jamie, Jamie says hello. Going to. Hi, Jamie. How's, the, how's my puppy? Auntie M wants to know, how's my puppy? Oh, that piece is even grungier, though. Maybe we'll go this way like this, because I like that. We'll go this one this way. Like that. There we go. Yes, like Jane, I'm sitting here waiting for an answer. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I just stopped. I'm like, how's my puppy? Thank you, Jamie. You guys are awesome. Jamie and Jamie. They are also mods on the Facebook page as well. I 
It's called Antique Papery. I know she has 70% off of all of her Jiggies. We're just... Yeah. And she has another site. I mean, you can find them all on that page. But she has another page called Journal Papery. And that's where all the... the Wait, she has another page? Yeah, it says it right at the top of her page. It's all the smaller ones that are like 60 cents right now for four pages, three or four is pages. It, is it the ones that have the shabby chic that her design team was working with? Maybe. Because I looked on the antique papery and I was like, I don't see that on. Yeah, you, you gotta go you gotta go on the other page. It's called um I think you can find them on the one page. I'm not sure anymore. She might have changed it, but it's called journal papery. It's right at the top. You can click right on it and go over there. Okay. So let me just put up the link. I'm gonna see if this is it. It's right at the top. <gasps> see? Oh, she said, Laurel, look at this. It's called Sweet Lavender. She takes yeah. your right to it. Click the yeah. link. Oh, my. Okay, so I wonder if this is the one that I saw her design team working with. And, yes, it is. <sighs> there it is right there. Angie, uh, Michelle's working on an altered journal, and I am working on some... I'm just putzing around with stuff for my um chatty, chatty planner have right now. Ooh, thank you, Sonia. Yes. All right, I'm bookmarking that tab. Everything is 60 cents. That's crazy. Yes. yes, exactly. There's quite a few. Did you see the moth one? There's a moth, the moths. I want those. They're beautiful. I want the every shabby chic one on that paper. She uses a lot of nature. And, you know, you guys have heard my qualms about, you know, liquor and drugs and stuff. I'm not, that's not really my thing. But um, in some cases, I my eye doesn't even get drawn to that big moose standing on the page. Oh, I don't even see it either. Yeah, it's weird. And I'm not an owl girl, and it's actually really pretty. These kids are 60s. Sonia, I'm go going. <laughs> well, Rob, we have to go now. <laughs> I was going to tell you last night. Thanks for I coming, had a, everybody. But we're I going had to a bunch in my cart. <laughs> and at first, I wanted to see what ones were all in that kit. I didn't want to buy repeat ones. So <laughs> I went back to put them back I, in my cart. I ordered the page, Sonia. I'm going over there as soon as uh yeah for sure for sure it says a little overage we're not gonna do that that'll work. that'll work we'll make it work and then we're just gonna fold this you up. guys know how sorry here comes another tip I can't help it. <laughs> so you know how we're all all people can use like nail files now for when you're gluing paper on. This actually is for your feet. I got it at the dollar store. Of course, it's purple. But I'm telling you guys, it works perfect to take off the excess paper along the side. So I just use this because then I don't go through so many emery boards or nail files. Let's whatever you want to scrape your ankles. What a good idea. Yeah, but it works great for this because I don't need to scrape my ankles. A tip video, especially with that freaking straightener. You already did the sugar bell sensation yep. bottle that you came up with forever ago. No, she's going to make me go click on this link. I know. I, I'm trying to ignore Sonia right now. I don't want to go. I'm I can't go look. Look. I I have this, this is the first one I may have bought from her was the Sweet Lavender. Oh, there's the moths. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Yep. I love these moths. They are gorgeous. Okay. Now I'm going to go click on it. Hold on. <laughs> I, I'm gluing. Oh, oh. 
yeah, I love, love, love her stuff. All right, awesome. I have one side of my book. Is oh, oh you're welcome, Leslie. Is amazing. yeah, I got it at the dollar store. Okay, what am I? Uh, what and uh, Jamie sent you sent you um pictures, Michelle. Who? Jamie. She said okay. sent you. I have my Facebook open, honey. Um, hold on one second. Oh my gosh! Look at the moth. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. I'm just like, oh, oh my goodness. I can see you fussy cutting this, Laurel. Seriously. Yeah, love the moths. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh look at that. See, like that. I can't even see that polar bear right there. Oh, just so. Oh, just so in there. This is Stay out of my way. I'm trying to be a neater crafter. It's not working real well today here. Yeah, I like, oh my gosh, that's 60 cents. Oh my word. I need just to put them all in my cart. <gasps> Look at the Rue Gardens paper bags. Oh my gosh. Collage. Oh wait, let's go to paper collections. Oh my word. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at the antique maps. Are you I've guys seen on them the all? Oh my gosh. I've seen them I all. Can't, I can't even. This is 70% off. <gasps> Look at the Victorian romance. Oh my gosh, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Sonia, I got to get off of here. All right, I bookmarked the page. Just stop. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I got that side done. But I'm going to put a pretty piece of paper here. And I think I'm going to use the one of the um, antique papery um, collections I got last night. I think. That the French, I think I think I think that the French, the French dance, which is this one, is amazing. Ooh, where do I want to go with the Covington? Oh my gosh, the Covington is more of a mob, not a purple. So I'm not gonna go with the Covington. Let me see what we got for French dance papers. Yes, I label all my digis. You guys have no idea. Look at the tickets. I love tickets. Look at the punch punches. Okay, so I have the hiccups. Dress forms. Okay, oh, hold no. your breath. Envelopes. Where's the paper? I need the paper. A4 cards, all these things. Look at these books. Oh my gosh. Just two. I'm going to use these. Just like, look at the edging and just your face on that. And look at just this. The. Uh, Following oh, that one. This is the, this is French dance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let, I'm just seeing if there's any kind of one I want to. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. One I accidentally had my copy paper in, and I was like, dang it. I'm always, you know, Jaden's like, okay to print. And I'm like, well, see what kind of paper's in. If it's thick, take it out. Okay, so I can use. Oh, no, I want to use that one. That one's really pretty. I love that. All right, that one's pretty. Oh, nope, it's this right here. It says Paris and it's postal. Okay, so there's that. I'm not going to use the human part. It's like it's watercolored. Mm hmm Oh my goodness. I'm not looking up at chat, you guys. I'm looking down right now. I'm sorry. 
Give me one second to look through these just so I can pick out my end. I think everybody's over there looking. <laughs> I'm serious. You've got to go over there. I can't believe they're 60 cents. I know I'm so trying not to be rude, but I really want to go over there. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. All right. So I want this one and I want that one. Oh. Look, uh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. And granted, you can't journal on any of this unless you like Jess Oder did something like that. But for cover pages or inside cover pages, ah, uh, stellar. Stellar. Wait till you guys see the French teacup you get. Oh, my God. Maybe I should print that one out. No, because then I have to, I have to put on Tara. Tara is what I named my machine I got. Yeah, this is just looks like mud on my thing. It is not. This is so colorful. Like, this is purple. It's absolutely beautiful. I can see it perfectly on StreamYard. And this is all aquas. And it looks like watercolor. Beautiful. Okay. I need to paint them. Or paint them. I need to cut them. All right, got that going. My desk is a mess. Got that going. There you go. Terrible mess, my desk. All right. This needs to go over. White and down. So white and down. Wow, that made sense for all. This needs to be white and down, toned down. How about that? How right might be a better word. That's a guy. That's so beautiful. Yeah, it just looks like mine. Yeah, I'm gonna stop showing and sharing. I can't find the eight dollars. Um, hold on, so Sonia. I'll go get it. It's in the regular shop. I'll go get it and post it for you. Hold on. I'll give you a link in a second. Yep, it's in the papery. It's right at the top. And I'm going to give you the link right for that, spe that specific one. <laughs> I can't even talk. Come on. I like that. Here. However, I want a border around it because it does it, it kind of clashes with that. I'm talking about antique papery. She has two shops, antique papery, and then right on the front of that page, you'll see her sister store, which is journal papery. But I'm going to give you the link right for the eight dollar one. And then if you go on a regular page, you'll see at the top of her page it says, "Visit my sister shop, journal papery, for all the retired items." Uh, as soon as my computer decides to speed up and play nice, we'll, we'll get the link. It's not playing nice at the moment. Uh, Sherilyn wants to know what the set is called that you're working with. Which one of those was it? I'm working with um, French, dance. French Dance. Yeah, it's called French Dance, Sherilyn. It's one in that $8 one. Yep. Um, you get, I'll repeat them again. You get 353 pages. They're eight bucks. You get a, these are the kit names, Back to Nature, Civil War, and like the Civil War, the back pages to collage with are, you would think, oh gosh, Civil War, these are going to be, you know, what, not your style. They're every piece. I could use every single one of these kits. Um, you get Back to Nature, Civil War, Covington, Darling, which is beautiful. It's like fuchsias and pinks. And it's gorgeous. French Dance, which I'm working with now. Um, Garden Trellis, Historical Pattern, which is this really cool retro sewing um, uh, kit. Lazy Sunday. Mermaid, which is beautiful. It's a this brilliant aqua color. Uh, Lush Forest, Monroe, which is these are short names for them because there's something after the Monroe. Um, 
It's not Marilyn Monroe. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nightingale, which I printed out and showed that earlier. Um, the Paloma has another word. I think it was Paloma. Um, what's that B word? It's a show, I, a TV show. Um, Versalis is, what's that word? Vers I don't know. Versalis. I think it's called the Paloma Versalis. Versalis anyway, or Versailles? Versailles. That okay. one is really pretty. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the word is. Um, <laughs> Versailles. There's a new one. It's really pretty. Then she has this one called Pretty Things. And it's like beautiful old chairs. And the way that she breaks them up is really cool. Because um, like if you see... Okay. Sonia says, I don't know what she's talking about, but she says, Sherby, I'm talking with her now for a combined kit for us. I, wow. I, don't, know, I don't know who she's talking to. Thanks, Sonia. Tell her we already, but we already got ours. Um, but I know this is, looks like, oh gosh. Do I can I refresh StreamYard? Yeah, go ahead. Go out and come back in, Michelle. She already did it without me saying anything. She's like, yep, I'm gonna refresh. Ooh, much better. Cause that is just horrible. Um, they always like the tickets, it's the full person. But if you cut out the tickets and you put these on your journal like that, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like you piece together the puzzle and she has stripes and stuff that do that as well. Like these, um, like where she splits up the design. It's really cool. Like this right here. These are yes, I saw those. They're so cool. Yeah, they're all separate. I think these are called the bookmarks, but yet the figures all go together. But so what you could this do is like you could really cut that one out. At the end. Right, or you could cut that one out and put it on a long piece, and each piece could be a pocket. Yeah, I mean, it's totally, totally cool. And then there's this one with her pretty skirt, but um, this is actually goes with the one that I'm um, cutting now. You might want to read the chat. She says, she wants to know what we want to see in the combined kit. I have her, I gave her the live to join us. Oh my goodness. I want like the moss, the butterfly and tea, the. I'm listening, Sonia. Um, wow. Wow, Sonia, you're getting it done, aren't you, girl? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, Hi, Christina. Christina, how are you? Uh, wow, I went over there for a second. Um, I'm going right back over there right now because I know which one. All right, if she you really wants to know, I'll tell her what I want. I will tell her what I want. For have sure. Buying all these kits. Oh, yeah. we're telling everyone. Hi, Kay. How yeah, are you? I know, right? Hey, Kay. She's probably like, why are my seals? <laughs> Hold on. So I'm going over to the journal papery because I know which ones I'd like to be put into a kit. Okay. Everybody in chat. We are off of chat right now, and we are. I'm in my bookmark page. I can. I can still see chat. Oh, okay. I can't. Um, where's it bookmarked at? Okay, right there. Oh, she's got one that's called a 24-piece mystery crafting pack for 225. I wonder what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like the neutral tones. Montreal, but I love the moss. Hold on. African Safari. We got Nature's Dance, right? Was that one of them? Nature's Dance? No. Uh, but no. no, we have Back to Nature, Civil War, Covington, Darling, French Dance. 
uh, Garden Trellis, Historical Pattern, Lazy Sunday, Mermaid, Lush Forest, Monroe, Nightingale, Pol Paloma, um, Pretty Things, Santa, The Terracotta, The Tea Party, The Nautical, The Steampunk Floral, which is so kick butt, um, and The Scottish Garden. So hold on. Let me just. So I'm getting a piece of paper or something on my desk here really, really quick. Jamie says, Kathleen, okay. Luair, and Daphne. I'm going to write down the list that I want. So when I come back in to buy these later, I am I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm writing a list. Okay, sorry. See, see what I started? We interrupt this live to go shopping. Oh, I definitely want Rue Garden. Love it. Um, now, which page are you on? Laurel Messerine, Frontline, Montreal, and Nature's Dance. Okay, Sonia, I will. I yep, like that's the Catalina. I want the Catalini. Grab the pencil. I didn't grab paper. Come on now. Um, garden trellis, we already have. That comes in um, the kit. Oh, look at Sophia's garden. Okay, I like that. Are you on journal papery or antique papery? Journal. Okay, me too. Sonia got them all right down as I was saying. A moth, butterfly, tea. Oh my gosh. I want Daphne and Sonia. So I want Rue Cav Cavallini, I think that's called. Yeah, Cavallini is there. Daphne so far. Um, I don't know. This African safari is really pretty too. There's some really pretty ones. I need that one. I need the garden shed and the vintage floral. Um, let's see here. Vintage. The deep sea. That one's pretty floral. Cool. I need. <laughs> Let's see. Like, I, <laughs> I need. Is it? A Rondale? A Rondale? Well, listen to Michelle. I need, not I want, I need. <laughs> I know. I need this. Um, I'm still, I'm, garden trellis we have. Oh, look at the minimalist. Oh, need that. Minimalist. Sorry, guys. We'll be back to crafting in just one moment. Legrands, I want that. All right, I already have Daphne, right? Yep, I got that one down. I don't see your safari. What are you talking about, safari? Sonia, I don't know how to find you to message you. Oh, she's on uh, Michelle with one L page. Okay. Antique maps. Antique maps. I can't see chat, guys. I can. Okay. Oh, gosh. French market. Hello. Okay. I have like 13 or 14 down. Oh, look at Bella Rosa. Oh. Going. Getting. I'm loading these to a card. Oh, Somewhere in Time. I love that movie. So do I. Oh, That's my gosh. I, I saw that movie when I was really favorite young. Movies. Yeah. One of my favorite movies. I oh, I need these. I think they're called Mason Paper. Okay, I still, I don't know how to find her. Come on now. Oh, and just look up, uh, she's she's an admin. Just hit the friends and group. I, I did. She's right at the top. I Not on my phone, she's not. 
<gasps> Look at the Victorian rug. Oh, con, she's oh, killing me. How do I get to you, though, to write her a message? Send a message. Got it. Okay, done with page one. On to page two. Look at her regal ladies. Oh, oh my gosh, you can't have them all, Michelle. Uh, uh, yeah, I can for 60 Sonia cents. Says, Sonia says, Sherby, look at your message. What message, hon? Where am I going? Message where? What, what where am I looking? I, I don't know. I'm I'm in I'm in a store right now, Sonia. <laughs> Um, I'm at Regal Ladies. Oh, look at the Nantucket. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. What? We can oh. we can do this later, Michelle. You'll look see at it. You'll get your messages on Messenger. In a vintage floral garden. I'm still shopping. Okay, where am uh, I going? Facebook? Go to Messenger. All right. Going to Messenger. <gasps> no <laughs> that's awesome so we can do this later yes i did look and read sonia that's awesome oh sonia shut the front door <laughs> you guys i can't even read this i'm like what uh, I don't know if Sherry's listening, but shout out, Sherry. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And Sherry, is your little cha-ching going off for the $8 kit? Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. That's great. Oh, Sonia, unbelievable. Okay, so, all right, let me get out of this. I'll get out of this. I, I had my name. Oops. I just lost my YouTube stream. That's okay. I have mine up. All right, I'm going to it. Oh, my gosh. You guys, that's amazing. Sonia, that's amazing. It is. I'm like, what? Seriously. Well, you guys will have a spring tomorrow. Okay. Wow. I have chills. Like, ah, I'm so excited. That is. That's oh awesome. My gosh. Oh, my goodness. You love the ladies on your Oh, yes. This is the French dance. Um, uh, Jean, we are all over at Antique Papery, and she has 20 kits that she is retiring for $8. It's 353 kits or pages for eight bucks. You get a kit called Back to Nature, Civil War, Covington, Darling, French Dance, Garden Trellis, Historical Pattern, Lazy Sunday, Mermaid, Lush Forest, Monroe, Nightingale, Paloma, Pretty Things, Santa, Terracotta Boho, Tea Party, A Nautical, um, Steampunk Floral, which is ugh, amazing because uh, you know I love meshing things together and I did steampunk meet shabby chic um and Scottish garden I am working with French dance and it is amazing and it's the these bands that are I think it's called the bookmark will totally change how you put these in your journal seriously like 
for belly bands or to make this a belly band but yet you keep it separate i i'm really really excited to work with all of these kids and i really wish my camera was working better because um, jean I'll, I'll put the link in again i just put it in a little while ago but you might not see it because you just came back so um, i'm gonna pop the link in for you for the kit yeah, the kit is called, I think it was just a bundle, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was called the retired thing. Yeah, right there. Yeah, Sonia says, wait till tomorrow to buy single kits. Exactly, guys, wait till tomorrow. But wait I would go buy this $8 one right now. Yes. You're welcome, Sonia, Jean. Am I allowed to read that letter she sent? I wouldn't. Keep it a surprise. Okay. Never mind. I just... If she's out there, uh, go ahead. you know what, Michelle, you can go ahead. Thank you, Sherry, very much. No, I'm not going to read it. Okay. No. Exactly, I just Jane. wait till tomorrow, okay. ladies, to buy those single kits. Um, yes. Yeah, read it. She, <laughs> uh, she is doing spe something special for all of us, yes. Did I print the whole 365? Well, my com my printer <laughs> done here printed 365 pages of Nightingale because it decided that it hated me this morning. Um, I have not printed all of them yet, no, but I have uh three of them. I have three of them printed and I will go ahead and I will print as much as I can tonight. Um, I, I, I'm, I just, I just can't believe that Matt, I, I can't even, I can't even craft right now. I'm just like this. <laughs> you can craft, you can do it. That is so cool. That is it, just so cool. I love it. Sonia, you're awesome. And that's uh, just wait till tomorrow to buy the single kits ladies please 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 all right i do have um i took these two pages from um this was the french dance um oh i think i just had a child in here hello child if you're awake stay off the internet please um i took uh two of half of the um french dance is what i printed first that one just love uh, and it's got an aqua colored paris stamp here and these look like watercolors i know my camera's not doing it justice um uh maybe i will i'll go ahead and i'll film a little bit tonight of some of these so you can see them in all the detail they are very very vivid and very layered and very ornate and i love them anyways um so i cut the one or these two pages to fit as the cover of the inside of my altered book however i don't like that i want to put a cream mat around my paper because it kind of clashes with the two so i just want to break that up so let me go get some cream card stock unless these inside pages will work for a momento a momento these actually may work See. Yeah, see that breaks it up a little bit. I don't want to see as much of the Italian marbled paper on the inside, not marbled, oh my gosh, floral paper on the inside as much as I do as my cover on the out. So that actually does work. But we're going to get some cardstock, and this doesn't have a very clean line. Um, I'm going to use it in here. To cover one of the right the writing in the paper. Um, oh my god! I'm just my stomach. 
so you're terrible, Michelle. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. That just makes me feel really, really great. And then I get to share it with everybody. That is going to be amazing. Oh, I really am enjoying it. All right. So let me get some cream cards back. I have a neutral pack that I'm working out of. It's just a... Uh, that's too yellowy. It's just a regular, uh, Jamie's like, thank you, Gary, for whatever it is you're working on for us. Uh, yep, I'll be working, uh, I'll, uh, be, I don't know. Hi, Caroline. She's like, hi, everyone. Things sound super exciting right now. They are. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. They are. I've heard Sherry's kids before, so I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Yes, Sherry, if you, uh, Caroline, if you didn't hear us, she has a kit right now. It's actually 20 kits, 353 pages for $8, but tomorrow something else is coming. Mm. Tomorrow something special is coming our way. Something special. Special. Um, Okay, I need to find my neutral paper. Hold on. I'm looking. Do not fall. Oh, I'm going to miss these paper pads. Hold on. I'm looking for my neutrals. Oh, that's right. I find them away in a drawer where they're supposed to be. Yay, me. And here they are. I'm just using um, 78 pound cardstock or 210 GSM cardstock. And I want to use it on the back of these. I don't really think, well, yeah, I do. I really think I want to ink it because the back of this is white. And. I want it to kind of pop off my page. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ink both of these. I let me measure my book first. That probably would have been a smarter thing to do. I can't even think right now, Ro. <laughs> I just I can't think. Sonia, I can't even think right now. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I won the drawing, Keisha, I'm serious. I won three giveaways that weekend and I thought I'm going to, I'm going to go play the lottery. And this is awesome. Jamie, thank you so much. I love you. I really do. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's great, you guys. I really, really appreciate you. All of you, you know this. Yes, they are, Jean. I have a bunch of her kits already, too. I'm, I think the, the pur one purple one was the first one that I bought. Shocker, Laurel. Shocker, right? I can't believe that that would be the first one you buy. Okay, why is this not... This is you know, I never have enough purple, ever. I need... Any cream? Or ice. Always clean my stamps and put them back as soon as I'm done so I don't make a big, huge disaster. So that's important. All right. Do I want to stamp anything on this little one? I don't know. Maybe a few leaves. Maybe a few leaves will stamp on this one. Just some tiny ones. It's going to be covered up by this anyway. This is going to go on. That's going to go like this. So I don't think I could just do a couple on the corners, maybe. Like up here. And. Maybe one down here. 
You gotta have three though, because it's not gonna look right if I just have two. Gotta do three. Gotta do three. So we'll do that one that way, that one that way, and I need one more little one. Hmm. We'll do this one. Let's do this one. Hold on, I'm looking for my. All right, we'll do those three. Mm hmm. And this one will probably get cut off by the hole punch, but that's okay. Hi, Sherry Mitchell. How are you? She's like, hi, ladies. Heart, heart, heart. Hey, Michelle. Sherry. Sherry Mitchell. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Am I saying hi to the Sherry? I don't know. I don't know what her last name is, but. I'm, gonna go I'm not ahead. saying hi to the Sherry, right? Am I saying hi to the Sherry? Hi, Mitz. Is this the Sherry from? I don't know. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, my God. It is the Sherry. It is? <laughs> well, I have to. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> She's like, I am the Sherry. <laughs> I can't even craft right now. The Sherry. Oh, oh my gosh. Craft. Thank you so much for coming on. Yes, she is Sherry Mitchell from Antique Papery and Journal Papery, ladies. Oh, my goodness. Yes, right there is the link for Sherry's salary. Retiring. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely Sherry, amazing. Welcome, welcome to my channel. I I love your papers. Um, I found them last night and I sent a link to Laurel and I was like, run! And so we got them all. I am actually using your um your French. I can't even speak right and now. I made, French class. I made the mistake while we were crafting to tell her you had a sister store and that started a whole nother thing. Yeah. So. So we interrupted my live to go shop over there. And then Sonia was like, Michelle, read your messages. So I have a, um, this was, this, this was just my list so far. <laughs> of what <laughs> I, 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 uh, yeah, that's, I was only on page two and then they told me to stop. I know my, my, my camera is a uh, blurry. Um, oh my, I, I can't even right now. I, I, I just can't even. Oh boy. Yes, please join the Facebook group, ladies, so you can get a surprise tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at everybody. They're like, Sherry, love your work. You're so talented. This is great. Yeah, the papers are gorgeous. Oh. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes. Um, I don't know anything that I'm doing right now. I can't believe I'm even forming words. This is cool. Michelle gets all, all like that. All of a sudden, she can't do anything. <laughs> she gets starstruck. <laughs> I, I, oh, look at that. Oh, gosh. Thank you all so much. I am Aww. beyond grateful. Huge surprise tomorrow for all my sweethearts over here. Oh, thank you. That is That's so sweet. Very cherry surprise, says Sonia. Thank you. And thank you, Sonia. Yes. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, Sonia is awesome. I'm telling you. This is just incredible. I, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle can't talk no more. I'm sorry. Okay, I know I gotta finish uh, altering my book here. All right, so it's all dry, and like I said, um, because I used the Mod Podge, you guys, it did because it's water based wrinkle this Italian paper, but it's okay. I kind of like that. Um, you know, I'm I'm the perfectly imperfect. My next question is, is do I want to turn it Michelle style and grunge it up? I don't know. Possibly. Um, that would be, uh, I'm going to say we're probably going to lean towards that because I am using this altar book for my vintage laces and I'm, I want to label each one. I want to, this is just going to put me on the hunt for more. Um, but we got some coming soon. You just don't 
don't fret they will be on their way so I need to cut this down a little bit um, Sherry if you're still here I'm actually gonna film some of your kits tonight because uh, I'm waiting on a cord to come for my internet to make it a little bit better so people can see better so I will film some of your kits tonight and I'm sure by now I, all my all your links are shared in my group for yep. sure. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, moderators. I will make sure to uh, go share them in my group, too. Oh, yes. Laurel has a group as well. Usually, like I said, I duck mouth my corners. But since I'm using um, one of the um sheets from the french class french dance class kit i will not be all right where is my paintbrush i can't i'm, I'm not even looking up at you i know I can't <laughs> just can't Michelle's on another planet right now. Yep. Jamie, um, that is very correct. We are studying the different laces in my group. There are videos up. We're learning about bobbin laces. Uh, or I can't even think. What was Added laces. Added laces. We Fish, posted... Uh, what is it? Um, uh, the fillet stitch. Fillet stitch. Um, we learned, uh, we posted a bunch of videos one day for you guys uh, all to go look. I'll mute for a sec. And if you followed any of them, they probably led you on a rabbit trail because Laurel was like, as Laurel was looking for them and I was looking for them, Laurel was like, oh, nope, saving this person. Oh, nope. <laughs> saving this. So Laurel's going to be creating sometime some of the laces that we posted. Mm -hmm. Not to put you on the spot there, Laurel. Right. <laughs> Listen how quiet we are. We can't even talk like my head is down. Like I'm like, you know, the tatting, the sweating, that's easy. The crochet, that's easy, you know. And the one, I don't know if you guys watched the one where the little girl was doing the the uh, bobbin lace. Like, what are you, six? Right. Like, she was just, and then you move this one over here. And then I was like, I love you. Right. Um, that you'll notice, like, towards the back of my book where I ripped um the back page don't worry i got a quick fix for that that i'm gonna so i won't even see that it's not going to even matter because there's no mistakes just little imperfections that's right intentional imperfections that's what i call them because there's no mistakes I'm probably Usually a lot, lot of my journals come with intentional imperfections. Probably shouldn't be All right. doing this like this, but I am. See how that has like lifted that paper and stuff? I'm not angry about that. I'm not mad at that at all. I love it. I think it looks aged. I am going to ink this a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge it 
and because I wanted to wrinkle more with the wax. However, I need to think about my spine. And what I think I'm going to do is I have some really thick um, ledger paper from the 1800s. And I think that's going to be a cool spine. I purposely did not go to the edge of the book because there is a divot here. And I'd like to see that divot. This is all aesthetically for me um, because it will be the first book that I've ever kept that I've ever done. Um, but it's going to be a learning tool for me and I'd like to uh, have it for a long time. But it, I also like to have it like my way. So I'm going to grunge it up. Let's get grungy. Let's get grungy. First, we're going to... Let's get that uh, paper on. I got some really cool, um, it's called Criminal Dockets. I got them from Cheryl Wilm and it's actual like arrest reports. They're funny. Oh my gosh, like this, this crime was petty larceny. But the paper that this is on, this one just says drunk. Um, this the paper that this is on is like really thick nice paper um i love the typing i love the handwriting on it um i think it's cool and then this cool piece was in there you know, when you find lucky things this looks like the blankest one right here so we're going to tear this out and this this is cool and you know what she shipped it straight like that she didn't fold it in half or anything it came perfectly straight so cheryl thank you for that that was amazing came perfectly straight all right so i still have yet to measure this book all righty I have not looked up at chat, Laurel. Have you? I can't. It's I can't. okay. I'm kind of keeping an eye. I, I talk about who has groups and who has a gang, and you know, I don't have a group. I just have my gang and nine and a half. And so, I know it's a crazy way to measure. It makes sense to me. Measuring's overrated. All right, nine and a half. All right, let's see here what we want to do with this. I mean, I went four here. Let's see, no, four and would half. cover too much. So I'm going to um, do it nine and a half by three inch. Oh. Can you hear the thickness on that? It's wonderful. And I know she had some left over. Oh. I know she had some left over. So if any of you want some nice, nice thick paper. Um, I was going to use this textured wallpaper. However, if I use the textured wallpaper, I'm not going to get the divots in that I want. It's not going to cover my book because it's a little thick. Um, so I'm not going to use that. I was going to. I thought about it. And then I thought, no, I'm not. So I need three and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I three inches. And then I made up some antique air quotes looking tape that I'm going to use to tape it down to really make sure it's nice and secure. So that's going to be, I know it doesn't look like much. 
right now, but we're going to ink it up and we're going to fit it. I should have went for. Okay, never mind. Hold on. I'm going for it. Boy, is she talking up a storm now or what, guys? I, I'm nervous. I have oh. to word in edgewise if I wanted to. I'm nervous. I can't help it. Don't be nervous. nervous. Nothing to be nervous about. All right. Belinda is out of surgery. The clot removed an aneurysm clip. The surgery went perfectly according to the doctor. She is is resting. Praise God. Thank you. Now we wait to see about recovery. That's awesome, Becky. Oh, Becky, that's awesome. What a trooper um, she is. Called, uh, oh, Jamie just put it in. Okay. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, what a trooper she is. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't even imagine going through something like that. Really. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Prayers are continuously going yes. out. For sure. Um, if you're talking about these docket papers, uh, they're uh, Cheryl Wilm, who is uh, Ethel Lou's boutique. Um, that's where I got it. Uh, when um, Keisha's, I don't, can somebody grab uh, Keisha's link for me? That would be great. Uh, had her vendors virtual, wait, virtual vendors market. It was two days. I got there at noon and it was about till two in the morning. And I was there for two days with Amanda and Liz. And oh my gosh, she's in the Navy. Where have you been? Hi, Caroline. Again, squirrel. <laughs> Michelle likes to go squirrel. She's in the Navy. What are you doing? What have you been up to? Missed you, girl. She's uh she's stateside right now and, and staying there, right? You're staying in port, right? Oh, you're at actually at work right. Oh, should we work? Are you at work right now? You don't have your finger on any kind of special button right now, right, Caroline? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Take it easy, girl. Um, right there she is. Uh Sonia, Keisha's Creations. Can you uh link her in my chat, please? Or Jamie, if you don't mind. I would appreciate it. I believe she is having one. I have it marked on my calendar. This is yeah, I do. Uh, she is having one on August the first and first and oh, no July thirty first and the first. Correct. She is still she is working to be an instructor. It's <gasps> taking up a lot of her time. No buttons. That's <gasps> awesome, Caroline. Caroline. Oh, you're gonna be bossy pants. Yes. He's like, hey, get that shoe tied right. Sonia is telling you to check your messenger again, Michelle. Oh, my goodness. I don't have it up. Where's my mouse? I've lost my, you guys, I've lost all my wits. Oh, I can go grab it if you can't, uh, Sonia. It's okay. I'll go get it. Oh, I'll go grab uh, Keisha's. I got it. I got it. I got gotcha. you. Uh oh, what what did I just hit? That wasn't good, Laurel. Stop hitting buttons. Uh Jamie, absolutely. Thank you very much. Got your message. You had you're fine. That's why I trust you. Don't worry. Yes, please. Yes, you can, Sonia. Yes, yes, yes. And I should probably have that linked, and I don't. Right there's Keisha's channel, you guys. Please sub to her. Thank um, you, Jamie. She's having one this Friday and Saturday. Starts at 11 a.m. Central, so Eastern time would be noon. 
Um, I had a blast. It was probably, um, I I'll tell you what, I met some, some really nice friends there that will be friends for a long time. They were very, very welcoming to me. Um, it was an incredible time and she had some great sellers, great sellers. Um, I am, yeah, I have, well, Donna and I picked up three already. I have three more boxes that I think I bought from everybody. <laughs> Caroline says, great. Caroline says, I'm teaching people how to do my job. It's a lot of fun. There's math involved. Oh, I love math. Not so happy about that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, no math for you me. Thank you. you didn't have to do that. that was sweet. Um, yes, you did. I'm sorry, Laurel. That should be linked at the bottom well, of my page. You know how often I, I don't visit my group a lot. I'm more in your group and on here than I'm in my own group. So it's okay. That is Laurel's. It's called uh, Inspiration Alley, where creativity, creativity blooms. blooms. Yeah. Inspiration Alley, where creativity blooms. Yes. Guys, go over there, sub to Keisha. Um, and also, if Keisha reaches a, a 100 likes on her video, she comes out with a really, really special giveaway. And guess who won that? That would be you your did. girl right here. I want me some G45 paper. That's you right. Go, girl. Sniff it, though, because I love the smell of graphic 45 paper. I think it smells amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to count all the sheets, Keisha, to make sure they're there. <laughs> it's a private joke. Yes. Oh, Mary. Oh, my gosh, Keisha. I have to tell you this. Mary sent me the box, right? And you know how I got the purple ones. And I was like, uh, yo, there goes my loose bead. You better count. I want to recount on my beads, remember? She sends me the beads, right? And the beads are inside a bag, but they're inside another bag because the bag ripped more. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> to make sure I got all my beads. <laughs> it was awesome. I was just laughed when I opened it. I was like, oh my gosh. I almost messenger. Did you sure? Are you sure you recounted this? Oh my gosh. All right. Let's grunge. Let's grunge. You guys know the three basic colors I use for my grunging. Um, vintage photo, black soot, and antique linen. Um, sometimes I use some walnut stain. It just depends. And I've also thrown another one in the mix, and it's called, where's it at? Okay, I use vintage photos so much I have six unopened ones. Oh my gosh. And the re-anchor. Um, it's called frayed, frayed Burlap. Really like that one. But that's not the other one. Oh, gathered twigs. Never mind. Yep, I use that one a lot. I like that gathered one. Twigs. I use vintage photo, black soot, and walnut or gathered twigs. But I yeah. like my stuff really dark. <laughs> um, the antique linen is just for when I mess up. Like I can intentionally mess up for you, and I'll show you what the antique linen does. Just give me one second. And your 411 monster in law was there. Oh my goodness, Sonia. What what happened? What what I don't want to said, said I bought old random photos from Keisha. I get I get them, go through them, and my 411 monster in law was in them. <laughs> what? No. Keisha says, look, everyone, crazy story, but true. What Sonia said. No joke. That's funny. Wow. Yep, Sherry, I have been using vintage photo. Like those are my three my three go-tos are definitely uh vintage photo, um black soot because I love making it look almost burn edgy. Yep. If that makes a sense, if that's a word. Uh it is today. Um and then the antique linen. And I'll show you guys. Um I ha I do have a video on how to 
distress and make antique um, uh, cabinet cards and things like that. And that shows a lot of my inking. I'm very heavy handed when I ink. And um, Michelle is where I learned to be heavy handed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm very heavy handed when it comes to inking. I like that look uh, for me. I like that look for me. But um, I do have two videos up, but I can show you guys really, really quick. I can mess up a piece of paper. And um, I have some that I just did that I learned the technique from Michelle on my pattern of cards I just made. Mm -hmm. You're out. So say I'm inking and I usually do not use the circular. I I'm all about the alcohol ink pad. I love the square or the rectangle. Learn your shapes, Michelle. Learn your shapes. Um, I love the rectangle. Getting it up here. Getting it up here. So. I like the rectangle because it, this is a horrible piece of paper to do it on, because it just neat leaves like that nice fuzz and then it catches on these fibers. And I don't change this pad a lot at all because I like the loose fibers and it leaves like darker um, images and um, a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like antique flecking or foxing. I like that. Um, it leaves that kind of look. However, when I use my round one, and sometimes when you go around with your round one, you get, say, that little circle. And I did that intentionally. And I don't like that. I don't think it looks, looks uh, like right. Um, this uh, I'm cool with here. But if you just take some of your um, vintage or antique linen and you can blend it out. And then go back in with that circle. See, now you can't tell where that circle is at. Because <coughs> I blended it out with that linen. So that's when I like to use my antique linen. It's just when I make like oops. Just oops. But I definitely prefer the alcohol ink rectangle to the circle any day any day i don't uh who said it i gotta go back up i don't know which tip sonia because i think i gave three tips today so i don't know which one it was uh repeat them all well, the one was the magic eraser. Love we'll it. Clean it. These mats for you guys. If you use your ma magic eraser, it will clean your mat. Um, the other one was the file, which was this that I used to distress the edges of my paper. Um, and what was the? Do you remember what the third one was? I don't even remember now. I'm always just trying to come up with different tips for stuff. <laughs> That's just, that just me. Uh, the straightener for your laces that's what I use oh my gosh the straightener for laces Michelle's never going to let me let that one go I'm I use telling it, you I use a it tiny little one amazing. and I keep it plugged in and it is great for um, your laces and stuff when you are at your desk live crafting or even filming I just pull out my straightener and I don't got to worry about pulling out an iron and an ironing board. It's just so much easier. Mine is right here. 
Yeah, mine is right next to my desk. A Revlon one? No. Um, I don't know. Just a Revlon one, and I keep it on low. I don't think I've ever had to use it on high. And just, it works great yep. on sorry silk as well. Straightening out your sorry silk. Ooh, you want that look. Purple. We need some of this one in here somewhere. All right. Purple. There we go. Let's get some purple in there. Let's get this puppy down. And I don't care if this is uneven because, like I said, I'm going to use some of my vintage tape that I made. But I am going to do the front of the book first. We're going to make sure it wraps around okay. Which it will. And then we're going to go over this with um, some distress ink and then we're going to Mod Podge the whole thing. Okay? That's my plan. The stamps out of the way, Laurel. Well. Okay. These can go out of the way. I'm saving yeah. every bit of this Italian paper scrap. Yes. Love it. All right. I need my gesso. Okay, I need to go back up. You're welcome, Jean. Absolutely. Yep, Laurel put in the uh, journal papery shop. That's her sister shop, but wait until tomorrow to buy single kits. Yes. But please go over to um, Antique Papery and get that kit. That's 20 kits in one for $8. Don't want to miss that. No, you do not want to miss that. That is a fantastic deal. You can't beat that. Can't be it. They took that one too. I have many one for credit. Good tip, Michelle. I have. You can never find the straightener. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, I have my straightener in my bathroom, and then I have this straightener. My daughter has her own. Yep, I have mine uh, right beside my bed. I don't even use one for my hair. I just got one for my laces. That's all the further I wanted to go on the front. And I know these are looking funky, guys, but the, the more I go, the better they'll look. And it's because they're for a specific project. So I'm doing the colors like this for a reason. There's that. Add this. Now we're going to do the... Backage. I need my darker purple. I'm only doing this section by section because if I did it all at once, my glue would end up drying. It wouldn't be straight. There's oh, a lot of things I do long, long it. my life that, you know, could make this go crazy. I don't even know if I'm in film or in camera. It doesn't matter. It's don't know we're in film. We are in film. We are live. I mean, on camera. It doesn't matter, though, because I'm blurry. There, there'll be an end to that soon, ladies. I'm so sorry. We're all check messenger. Oh, okay, Sonia, checking messenger. Who? What do we have to check? Oh, you do. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Jean, thank you. Okay, I, so I have that on. I know so she's talking the about uh, the edging. This is straight. I I showed it already. But this is the back where I tore it. I like that torn look. 
So I may just put no tape on it all, but because that back is awesome. That back looks cool. Yeah, I think I think I showed it, Sonia. Again. But yes, it's for your feet, this. But like if I want to take this paper off the top, this thing, these things, and it just gives it that that brush look, but it will it just brush is really nice and it takes the paper right off the edge. I've glued this one so it's uh Just like that. And paper would work too, yeah. Thank you for buying the emery boards. I call them nail files. I know back in the day they used to be called emery boards, and nail files are technically the metal ones, but I just always call it a nail file. I don't think I've ever um, said emery board. Uh, sandpaper would work too, yes? Yeah, sandpaper too, correct. I use a sanding block. <laughs> I have a sanding yeah, block. Yeah, I have the block. Yeah, I like these colors. I'm not so sure about that. Something's missing somewhere. I don't know where. I really want the creases of that book to show. Maybe I need to use some distressing. Maybe that's what I got to do. Let's try this. And this it is showing. Show. We're all going to be in trouble. Loving it. I love this torn look. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything with yeah. it. Yeah, she but just can't. It'll be to the front now because that torn look is awesome. And again, I got this paper from Cheryl Wilms and it is nice and thick. It's the docket papers and I believe she had extra. You guys want to reach out to her. And I got a heap Let's of try some wilted violet. So I take um, on the bottom of my distress pads, I buy these, um, the Velcro circles with the two pieces from the dollar store. And this is where I store my little pads. Then I don't ever lose them. <laughs> I just stick oh, them right on the bottom. Good. And then I have the Velcro on here and then it just sticks right to there and I'm good to go. Always trying to make life easier. Ooh, like that. I like that color much better. See, it starts looking better if you just keep playing with it. I'm using my ink. It's the it's for alcohol ink. The alcohol ink pad just going. Yeah, I used to have that one. And I'm like, then I saw everybody using these round ones, and my I'm like, am I using the wrong one? Lightly over my book, but it picked up every bump. Remember how I told you how it was water-based and it was rippling my paper? So now everything is picked up and highlighted on my book. Um, when I Mod Podge this, it will um, pull it out a little bit more. So I want to make those as dark as I possibly can because the Mod Podge will will uh, Mod Podge will lighten them. So I'm going to go heavy handed on those. No need to use any black soot or anything. I think on this. Wow, that's really turning out pretty. That. That paper is amazing. Again, got this uh, ant Italian uh, paper from Cheryl Wilm as, as well during Keisha's virtual market. I'm telling you guys, all the good weekend. What do I need here? Some green. Need some green right there. A big ripple. And even this paper is a little textured too. It's got little lines on it. So it's kind of picking up those lines. And it's okay if this pulls back a little because it's all going to get mod touched down. Okay, I like. 
Just go around that edge again. Yep, I'm cool with it. Let's see if we can get some of this groove. We'll go this way on the groove. There we go. Get some color in there. There. It makes sense in my whole table when I I gotta figure out something for this table because I've got it up so high it's not really stable, so it just keeps shaking. It's like shake, shake, shake. Yeah. All right. All right, let's my pad just puppy. We have to look how uh I wish you guys could see this really good. I think I need I'll to get some put them in the group because it looks really cool. I think I need some layering on here now, some texture. It looks really, really cool. So we're gonna add some. And on the front, I believe I am going to put a strip of that old tape because the back's just a little bit longer. So I'm going to put some of that old looking tape that I made. All right. Where the heck do I guess I'll start with this? Uh oh. I'm going to be doing it for the inside of my book as well. So I'm going to do out outside first and then in. I'm going to rip a few more sheets of wax paper. I'm going to go in and protect my book pages. And I have my homemade texture paste, which I'm telling you guys, I can let this sit forever and it's still just. I have a video how to make that as well. Yeah, I don't know if I did a video. I think I just posted it on a video, the, the measurements. But yes, Michelle has taught me a lot. Michelle's actually the one that got me, told me to open up a YouTube channel. To open up a YouTube channel? Hey, yes, welcome, welcome to YouTube. YouTube channel. And see, it's already spreading my distress. And I like it. Okay, who's leaving? Uh, okay, have a great day at work, Caroline. Thank you for joining us. She's in the name. I used to use the uh, furniture movers too, Sonia. I have a bunch of the felt pads. I use those for a long time. Keisha, I'm definitely getting a foot file. It is a great idea, Keisha. It saves you from keep buying those other ones. And it's a dollar. Come on now. Caroline, it was really good to see you on. Stop back. Stop back crazy right i'm putting the my pad right on my brush there we go much better with some texture i like that all right i know i have one that's got words or something on it this one just happened to be right here on my desk <laughs> let's see what one we can find let's clean this one off oh my god i'm shaking the whole table guys don't look it's like an earthquake over here Okay, that one's got numbers. Let's get, let's see what else we do. This is nice. I like standing because then I can move around and grab stuff. All right, there's the front. That looks awesome. I like it. I like that a lot. All right. Fine. Michelle is really working it right now. She's like in deep concentration mode over there. I'm in the zone, yo. Yep, you're in the zone now. I'm in the zone.
Ah, just look how that's smears. That's yummy. Another reason why I put it on my brush is because if I pour a big bowl of it and I don't use it all, then it's wasted and I don't like doing that. That's why I paint when you guys see me paint. I paint out of the tops of the caps. Oh, I always do. Then I can just close it up when I'm done. Yep, I always paint out of the tops of the caps, everything, because it's just, it would be a waste. Oh, that distressing just went great down that. I do have a heat tool. I could dry this, but its name is Henderson. Henderson the heat tool. All of them are named. Actually, this is pretty dry. Wow. Um, I can also, depending um, where I live, it's kind of high humidity, it's muggy, it's Ohio, it is what it is. Um, you can also clear matte coat this. However, it won't give you the same effect as the Mod Podge will because I was dragging that color and spreading that color of age throughout. And you'll notice that I didn't really focus on the spine too much, that the spine is pretty plain. Wow, this is almost dry. Um, that the spine is pretty plain. I have an idea for the spine. Um, I'm going to leave the back the way that it is because I love those that jaggedy edge. However, the front, you notice it, it doesn't come out as far as the back. So, I'm going to use some of my homemade tape that I use. And I use two different kinds of tapes when I make my homemade tape. I use, um, and there they are. And this, I'm telling you, this is almost dry. Um, I use a thin I use the thin Scotch Magic Tape that's invisible, invisible with a matte finish. It's the thin one. I don't use the thicker one. I don't. I don't know. My preference, I guess. It's anyone. You do whatever you want. Um, I use three different colors of alcohol ink. Um, they're always by my side. I use butterscotch, honeycomb, and sepia. Um, I like the different effects that it gives me because I don't use this as a whole strip. I usually just take some off. Oh, and I put it down on wax paper and it's still sticky and I just tear it in half. And then say this is a page, I just stick it on. So I'll be able to use that again. And then I use masking tape as well. Um, that's awesome, Sonia. That's a good idea. This is what I think I'm going to use on the front of this book. Um, Leslie says it's your fault. She's spending money today. Leslie, you're lucky I'm not having my you-know-what. You should have went for coffee. She'll be right back. Go away for coffee. Can That's what everyone coffee? said. Bring me Give some me coffee, some. too. Give me some coffee. No, I think I have some. Do I have some up there? <gasps> I do. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. went and grabbed some. I know coffee that. Coffee break. Yep, that's right. It's right here. You know my favorite, Duncan Hines Espresso. Duncan Hines? What is with you today? Oh, my gosh. Did I say Duncan Hines? That's a yeah. cake. I I'm all for Klimt. 
Oh my gosh, I just can't handle it. I'm all <laughs> right, Leslie. Today we show some Duncan Hines. <laughs> I'm over here trying to some Duncan Hines. I really want that sugar rush today. <laughs> Duncan Donuts. I love the espresso. I think it's great. <laughs> yes, coffee. It's a quick coffee, Leslie. I do drink regular coffee, but I only have one of those in the morning because it's so flipping hot. If it was winter time, I would have coffee during the day. I'm not oh, like I drink hot stuff. It keeps your body temperature the same. I'm not like a ten cup a day though person. Um, I'll drink this, um, and then I'll probably have another one. And I've already had my one cup for this morning. Right, I'm just so playing this book dry. I know it looks wonky right now. Well, I'm doing kind of a good job of keeping the area clean where you can actually see what I'm doing. I mean, I need to clean my mat, but. I, I did call it Duncan Hines. <laughs> yep, you called it Duncan Hines for sure. <laughs> Bad. That's cake mix. We're not having cake mix today. Look, this is a uh, look. And it's almost dry. There's some. No. It's pretty much dry. Um, I do have to wrap up this brush, though. Wow, I didn't even have to put my. What fun is that? All right, I'm going to put them there anyway, so I can really think I want to use, let me see, let me dry, so I think I'll sew my little piece, oh, I'm waiting for those to dry, because I'm not, I'm doing it this, but first I have to sew on some other stuff, as soon as I figure out where I put it all. Tape one. Where did you put it all? Well, or y'all know how to make vintage vintage tape, right? Because that could be a whole new rabbit trail. Oh no, I want this one. Right down my book. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, you are sexy. I like you. And the reason why I put that on after the Mod Podge is uh, it'll drag away and it'll take away the effect. Um, because you know, as soon as you get it wet or um, add more alcohol or anything to it, it's easily man manipulated. So I don't like to put anything over my tape, but it's not, that's the distressing on my hand. It's not this. I should have put my stuff on my, on my hands first. It came right off. I'm good. It's okay. Crazy super I'm good. good. I'm good. Yep. I usually use this right here before I ink. It's called Art Guard. It's by Windsor and Newton. It's a barrier cream. It's not greasy. It's it's awesome. I've had this. I've had this for like two years. And you just stick your fingers in, grab a little bit, put some on your hands, rub it in like you would lotion. You mean what I need right now for everything I'm getting all over my hands? <laughs> yep, it'd be perfect. Oops, watch underneath your nails. Like that. And you just rub it in. Not greasy at all. Let me put my back on it 
I keep it right underneath my desk right here where I can reach it. It's, like I said, not greasy, nothing. This is glue. This is Mod Podge coming off my hands. Um, but it, uh, after, if you're doing heavy inking, like I do, um, usually your hands, like there's some right there, um, get all crazy dirty and you just go and wash your hands with the water and that barrier cream comes right off and so does the ink. I like it. I know, right? We've had enough rabbits today. Rabbits and squirrels. Right? Oh my goodness. Sent me a picture in Messenger. Okay, I'm looking up at chat. Okay. Oh, don't get wet. Don't get wet. I know that, Sonia. All right, here I go. Check in Messenger, Sherilyn. Oh, that looks fantastic, and it's pink. She sent me a journal. Uh, her, she sent me her version of an altered composition book. Nice. I love. Look at me. I'm trying to get closer. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Is there a napkin on there? Like, what's that? That really cool dark mark right above. Right above your tags, but right below that flower in the top. And it looks almost like it's textured. It looks like the edge of a napkin. That's a, that's really cool. I like that a lot. And I see avocado dyed tea paper, um, tea paper too. Oh, I like that. Love that paper. Love it, Sherilyn. Okay. Neither do I, Sonia. Neither do I. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can keep okay. this all neater. Back with coffee. Okay. Thank you. Social. Everyone drink. Social. Social. Ooh, it's the Imperial paper. That's very pretty. Did you get it from Maddie? I just got, and you guys aren't going to believe this because it's really out of my realm. I just got the Chow Bella Tango from her. And um, I, I'm all about, like, you guys are going to find out, like, I'm just thinking out of the box. Out of the box. Totally out of the box. Um, I don't know if there, there is some who weren't here earlier who want to look at my altered um, scrapbook that I was working on and we got interrupted because Marsha, Marsha, Marsha and Angie came on. Um, but I do have some of that finished if you guys want to see some of it. Um, Oh, Wesley, you'd have no idea. Yep, me too. So over it. Perfectly said. You, yes. Yeah, you got it from Maddie? I, I figured. Um, Keish is ready. I do, Michelle. She's ready to go her hand. <laughs> yep, I'm, try I'm trying to get, like, out of the box. Um, I'll be teaching a lot more now. I've just got so many things planned, and I could not be happy. We'll just say that. Yes. I am just excited to be teaching again. Um, nothing but time on her hands to just craft. <laughs> yep. Without knowing what. 
and if I'm ever going back to work. Okay, so we'll come back to this. Uh, I will show you my uh, the altered scrapbook that I was working on that day. It's come really, really far. Um, did I film any of it? No. Why? Because I just didn't. My bad. Um, but you'll get to see a, probably a final finish of it. We'll come back to this book because I want to add some of Tracy's labels and I want to put something down my spine. So we'll come back to this. Laurel, if you don't mind for a second, I'm going to put it full on me. No, and see put it full on me. Do my best. I'm just putzing right now. So, uh, the whole. It's your channel. You can do whatever you want, girl. Oh, please, girl. Oh, please. All right. What did I do with it? It's. So big, where did I where did I do it? Keisha says, whoop, whoop for happy people. Whoop, whoop. That's right. All about it. All about it. Okay. All right. That's where I'm moving some of the papers that I'm putting into it. Okay, so you guys remember it was that um kind of like forest green color right well it's not anymore um let me take the papers out i i sewed all the thing or all the papers together so i'll show you guys those but here is the cover and it is amazing it's covered with um vintage like it matters but there is vintage ledger paper under here and you can kind of see the ledger paper coming through um it's covered with the grungy um coffee and tea stained uh let's see if you can get like some of the ledger paper coming through it's covered with some of the grungy coffee and um tea stained uh, fabric that I use. I think I ended up going with a two and a half inch spine on this. This is the inside. I did decide to cover up the inside of the book because last time with the sketchbook I didn't because I wanted to leave the integrity of the vintage. Um, but this time I did. I covered it. So that's the cover. And it's a honking cover. Let me tell you. I think, what was it? Like 12 and 3 fourths by something in, by 10 and a half, I think. Um, if I remember correctly. Then here are the pages. You guys know, um, you find these at garage sales. They have the record albums in them which I'm turning this into a journal next. Um, but this had all these sleeves with these records in them. What were they called? Like 78s or something like that? Yeah. Um, well, I used the Tracy Fox painted uh, peeled paint um, kit because I loved the monotone chrome colors and the blues and stuff because if you remember the covers that we picked out do you remember down where the daisies grow she made it into the book you get that a little bit centered she made it into the book and um what i did here was made pockets for the inside of the book there's some of my vintage tape along the edge just for the heck of it. And then there's the center, which I'll probably put some tape along here so it's not as stark white. But um, the only thing I wish I would have done different and I'll do differently next time because I have lots of these. Um, first of all, I had to cut them down uh to make them fit inside this book because you saw that other book was kind of long so i had to cut down the inside the middle or the inside here um and then line them up to where they were you know at least you know uh straight across from each other but the only thing i would have done differently is i have i wish i would have staggered them and made the full 12 
and three quarter inch paper because now when the journal gets folded and the pockets are filled, you're going to have that one lump in the journal. And I still may change my mind and use this for something else. Um, but that's the only thing I wish I would have changed because they are going to be, they're not going to be together because they're going to be sewn in signatures like this and they'll be around here. But they're still going to be in the same area of the book. So it's going to be kind of bulky. But I left um, a two and a half inch spine. If you remember the sketchbook that I did that was for drawing and everything. Um, I left the person who got it um, at least an inch, inch and a half on each side. So they could put their art papers, their painting papers, whatever they wanted in the journal so these are all sewn together i reinforced them like she did not have this on the back it was a weird it was a weird piece of paper so i put the song down where the daisies grows and i also kind of chunked up the edges like a mouse ate it or i just it's all intentional and i put it together with a ledger and I decided to use just a cream. Um, no. I'm going to run to the yeah. kitchen for one second, okay? Okay. Okay. I decided to use just, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I'm not looking up. It is huge. Um, it definitely is huge. Thank you, Leslie. Now you have something to do. Why? Thank you. I know who that is. Vintage Art Chronicles. Vintage Art Chronicles. Why do I want to say, where's my cheat sheet? I'm looking at my cheat sheet. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. I want to say it starts with the letter P. Hold on. I have a cheat sheet. I'm not going to lie. I do. It helps. I don't have you. <laughs> I don't have you Vintage Art Chronicles. Do you have a first name that I can call you? Or if not, I'll just call you Vintage Art. Um, but welcome and thank you. Yes, the sketchbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you changed your name. What was it? This is going to really freak me out because I'm, I'm obviously we know each other. Um, the sketchbook, the sketchbook went down to a three second time stamp. Sonia, gotta be quick. Oh, Sharon. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so vintage create Sharon. Okay. I know who you are now. I can't see you in your little picture. Sorry. Okay. I like the new name, Vintage Art Chronicles. Okay. I'm cool with that. So, Vintage Creek, how are you doing, Sharon? Um, so, I just added, like, weird pieces, you know, because they're going to be... Oh, that was an extra one. They're going to be put in, like, signatures and like we could go like that there's some ledger with this flappy thingy i haven't decided what to do with that um i did leave all the tails on but i did sew a lot there's a lot there's a lot of um there's some handmade paper in there um but i wanted to 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 show you that these are not um there's no reason why we can't use our pretty music books um and i also uh if you're in my facebook group you'll see that dare be um actually uh did a tip i had um talked about a tip that i used when using music sheets and she actually posted and did it. I was like, yay! It was so cool. Um, 
there's this one page in here that's really beautiful. Look, this. I couldn't cover that. And remember when we were on live, she said that this meant, I forget who it was. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, but it meant ballroom dancing. And I just thought that was just absolutely beautiful. It's that antique colored paper. It's just beautiful. And um, I did have to um, double the back of this because the back page wasn't as sturdy. So it does have music there. And it's all done with the zigzag st uh, stitch. Cream on cream is what I used. So I think it's going to turn out to be a really, really pretty book. Um, there's still some composition paper that I want to use. There's still some ledger here. Um, there's things that I didn't have to sew. Uh, the vellum will definitely go over something cool. Like I could put it over this so you know like what's coming. Because the vellum is just a regular size piece of paper. What is that? Eight and a half by 11 or whatever. And where these are the 12 and 3 fourths. Um, so I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, can I say really, really enough? Um, I used uh, this picture right here. I think that's just beautiful. And I had to, all of these papers, see how this is cut, like right here? It's, it's the edging. Remember how I said I wanted to keep that beautiful broken edging on there? Well, I did. And I just use it as backing for this paper. Look at that. It just turned out. It, it definitely... Uh, is meeting my expectations and more. I really can't wait to finish it. I'm really excited about it. Um, I love this paper right here. Ugh. But this is the part where we were talking about, um, okay, say this was ugly and we didn't like it. Um, and I told you guys that this, please don't, you, you don't have to waste this. You can take out um like a section of this and squish it down and put it back together on a page that will fit that you want to fit or the size of your um journal and dear b did it and put a picture in the group and it looks fantastic she did a great job of it but this is just a beautiful picture i love the birds down in the corner it's that um, grungy white, like, um, just antique paper. Um, the copyright is 1889. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of paper. And that one is meant to go on the inside. So you flip to it and you're like, yeah. But look at the back here. You can tell this one, um, it all offset and came through the paper so I have little frames here to work with I don't know if it's going to show really good on camera or not but I can see the little frames so I'm just going to leave it like that so whoever gets it will can put frames or pictures or arrange that page however they want hi vintage art that's, chronicles that's, hi Lisa uh, Sharon Hi, so Sharon. Create. She, she changed oh, okay. her name. Is that because I was like, I know, I know you. And she's like, hi, Michelle. Like she knew me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's her. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Thanks, Keisha. I appreciate it. It's been a labor of love. It really has. I really um like come look. Come to me. I love this. This pink. It's pink. She's pink. And now with this vintage papery paper and everything, it will go with the peeled paint that I use too. Because she has this one called Garden Trellis. And I think I might use some of that in here. 
um, because I still have to edge all this. I still have to put some laces in this. This is far from done, you guys. It takes me a long time to put out journals. That's when the why when I do. Um, Have a great day, Sherilyn. Thank you for joining us. Oh, who's leaving? Sherilyn. Oh, have a good day, Sherilyn. Happy day after your birthday, hon. Um, that's why when I put them out, I give, I try to give a warning and say, hey. I'm putting up some videos and that's all I say. And there you go. Um, this one had like a horrible tear through it right here. But I backed it with this really cool. Remember, I wanted to keep that grunge nasty edge. And I used some tape. Was there a rip there? No. But I thought the tape looked cool. Look, something sat on this. This is not crooked. It's just like a piece of paper that offset onto this one. So I'm leaving that. I think it looks neat. This one just has some lined paper on it. And then I wanted to keep the edging of that. This is just two lined papers that will go in. I loved this. Um, and it was the same colors that I was going for was the browns uh, or the light taupey colors. And then this is purple with it. And then that's sewn on to, I had um, 1800 uh, vintage um, ledger paper that I had in my last sale. And of course I have some for my stash. Of course I do. So I did... Um, I left this, I love the cinched edge. I think that's cool. So I didn't sew it the right way. I actually sewed it backwards. So everything they do is just, in, it's intentional because I like those elements. I think that's a cool element. It's not perforated. It's not going to come off. So why not sew it backwards, right? And right. then I still have to figure out what to do with these. I could put some cool lace through them. Um, some vintage lace like snaked through it. I don't know yet. It's still like I've got a lot of work to do on it still. Here's some of my papers I still want to incorporate. Remember when they used the gauze on it? And that is like some old paper. So it's still got a lot of work. And then, of course, that at dawning poem, oh my goodness, is going to be on the back page. It is one of the most beautiful poems I've ever read. Um, and the song is on the back, and it's a shame that um, it's going to be covered. I'm still debating. I don't know, because... Even if I do cut it down, I'm going to I'm gonna miss all this lusciousness anyways. But that poem is absolutely beautiful. I, it's probably going to be the only thing that I copy in this book. I usually don't copy anything. But I love that, and I want to frame it, and I want it on my wall. I won't sell it. I won't do anything like that. It will just be me and whoever buys the journal, whoever gets it. That's it. Who's going to have it? So there it is. So I am working on it, but they take a long time because like I, I said, I forget what conversation we were having about how, oh, it was in our Zoom class, Lorel. Oh, about your book? About my books, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would rather have them go more towards the journaling side than and art side than the writing you know, side. The stuff that's in it. I, I, I think it should be up to the person to create the journal. I'll just give you the base to start it. Hold on, and I'll put Laurel back on. I have to move on my paper. So, oh, yeah, let's just put that right there, Michelle. That's gross. I left my paintbrush out. Okay. How do I put her on? All right. 
There she is. I'm here. I just I have to sew for a minute. So hey Matlock, what's up? Hi, sis. Did you go mute, Michelle? What are you doing? I said I have oh Beth, what's up? She comes in. Yo. Hi, Beth. Yo. All right, so I'm going to continue to work on my altered journal. I am, uh, let's see. How long have we been on? Oh, three um, and a half hours. Not We're that ready. long. Ready? Well, it's your channel. It's up to you, girl. <laughs> Three and a half hours. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're having fun. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. It's up to you guys. Take a vote. I uh, have a notification that just came up. So if you all um, want to um, go over there. You're welcome, Keisha. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. This is an official time mine. <laughs> Good luck, Sonia. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks for hopping in, Matt Luck. Laurel, what is that for? Yes. Yeah, oh, making those and, boards. you know, I wish the colors would come through true because the colors actually match the Lorella. I call it the Laurel kit um, perfectly. Um, they had holes punched in them and I'll repunch them. But these are pieces I'm using for stuff. This one's actually going to hold something. I can't say what it is yet. But um, these are pieces for my Taddy Planner, the Taddy Planner. Um, teachable from Tracy. So you will see me start using a lot of Tracy Fox stuff, you guys, because just I have so much of it, it's time I start making stuff with it. And remember, uh, and especially, uh, did Matlock get the deal? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, Matlock, you got to be in the group tomorrow. Uh, you're never going to believe who came in. Uh, oh, Sherry Mitchell, oh, that was, the antique papery and the journal papery. She came into our chat and I can't tell you what her message said, but I can just tell you, please pay attention to my, my, my page tomorrow and nobody buy the 60 cent kits tonight. Okay. You could go over and get the $8 one. That's 20 right. kits, which is on antique papery. But on the journal papery, just everybody chill. <laughs> because right. it's, it's driving me nuts right now, too. And believe me, I had my list made out, and I was only on page two. Okay. <laughs> Look at that list. It's like I had one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I had 15 already picked out. And they're 60 cents. But, but, don't Just wait. Buy them. Don't, don't do buy it. Them. Um, I did get a notification uh, in my messages that one of my mods did let her in the group. She is in the group. Um, so it will be posted tomorrow we will we will get that done keisha as soon as we're off here uh the facebook page gene oh yeah 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 yes uh jamie and sonia should be uh both of them um oh gosh you guys are great look at you putting all the links up yes 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 that's fine 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 um I can't tell you guys how great this has been. Um, I look forward to actually um, 
crafting more with you and crafting more with Laurel and we're going to get Angie on here. We might even get the abster up in here. We don't know what's going to happen. We've got a lot of things in the works. I hope that you join us. And well, the- you'll probably see us on again this week on my channel. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Nine people want to join this group. Okay. <laughs> I'm going right now. I'm going right now. Hold on. Okay. Um. Oh, yep. There. Yep. Oh, I hey, hate there. Kiss K. Hey, Angie. Oh, oh, thank okay. you. Hey. Oh. Wow. Hey. Hey. Pam. Yes. Fun is what it's all about these days. Is hey, just enjoying man. life. Right. And fun. I didn't see you. You must already be in there, hon. There you go. We won't, we won't forget you, Caroline. All right, are you taking care of? Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I just started this page like what three weeks ago. Um, I really haven't promoted it very much, but there's 65. I'm just really excited. I hope um there'll be more soon. Oh, whoops. Oh, oops. That was me. Sorry, I hit the wrong thing. I was trying to switch my camera. Just so they can. Oh, look, I'm up in the sky. There we go. Um, it'll be on my Facebook page, Jean. If not, we will come on and do a special YouTube for it. Either way, you're going to. Oh uh, you guys, I can't. I almost wanted to cry when I read that email. Laurel, seriously, my eyes turned up. I, I know. I read it and I'm like, Michelle, go to your messenger right now. I, I, I almost cried. And then she came in and I was like, I can't even. I couldn't even form a sentence. I fangirl on, there's a couple of people that get me to where I really can't talk, but uh, that was something I, that was, she was super nice and (laughs) and Sonia again, thank you so much. Sonia initiated uh, everything. Yes, she did. Everything that is coming tomorrow. Everybody gives Sonia. I feel like. Mm-hmm. I really, really appreciate it. Jamie, thank you for being a mod today. I, I just love you both so much. Laurel, hey, thank what, you. Am I a liberal over here? Sure. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Keep going. Oh, I, I was ready. I was listening. I'm like, uh huh. I'm like, am I, you're like, love you both. And I'm like, wait, am I chopped liver over here? Oh, no. Uh, oh, I, I haven't you, gotten to you yet. I have gotten to you. I will will get to my group, too, right after this. Thank you, ladies, who wanted to join. I appreciate it. I'm not there a lot. I try. I try really hard. (laughs) Uh, No, Sonia, love you, girl. I mean, that was really special. That was, y'all know how to get me, and I don't do very good well with surprises. They they scared the crap out of me, to believe believe it or not. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And then she showed up in the chat, and I was just like, (laughs) I almost peed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I almost peed. It was all. It was really, really great. Um, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, please stay tuned to my channel, Laurel's channel. Um, I will. Uh, not gonna lie, I'll keep it transparent. I have a sale coming up. It's going to be a lot of vintage lace. You're not gonna want to miss it. It's incredibly priced and it's ready to move uh it will be soon i don't know when i i i I, and that's honest i really don't know when it will be um ask laurel because she's my mind and she has (laughs) she's the announcement and i go okay let's go (laughs) say when i want to do it but i am working on it yes it is lace it is a lot of don't don't like uh uh-oh i didn't tell shell vintage lace and um not vintage lace if that makes sense a uh, lot of um i found some really cool vintage fabric can i show you guys this fabric really quick and then i'll say goodbye oh my gosh so no shut up and everybody's like shut up michelle jean's like whenever it is michelle we will be there uh, uh, thank you keisha thank you for coming in and keeping work company What's that? 
Keisha said, thank you for hanging out and keeping us all company for the day. Michelle and Morell and I said, thank you for keeping us company. Absolutely. This, hold on. It seems to do better if I get big on me. Hold on, Laurel. Okay, look at this. It is, I'm trying to make it space agey. Stop. There you go. <laughs> it's like, uh, let me have to put my glasses down. It's a cream based background, a cream to almost beige. We'll say a crew. Um, it's got like, it's like a mustardy rust yellow. I'm making up colors here, people. And brown. It's gorgeous. And I have some to share. So that will be in the sale as well. I just have to get it. Um, cut and we'll have it by the yardage again everything like that you know you know you know i come across a good oh and then paper clips that you guys were uh liking earlier i got some to share too so thank you both uh thank everybody very much for coming to it today thank you ladies this was thank fun it was nice well, to just. Well, I love you and thank you for coming on. Aww, I love you too, Michelle. <laughs> it was so nice to see you guys. Mitz, thanks for showing up. Keisha, thanks for spending the day with us. Jean, everybody. Uh, hi to you. I'm sorry if I didn't. Hi, Mitz. Everybody, uh, please join the Facebook group. You're not going to want to miss Sherry Mitchell's uh, uh, Sonia Cry. Sherry's surprise. It's going to be amazing. I am so excited. Oh, thank um, you, Sonia. It's oh, you're welcome. Back awesome. It's just awesome. So, all right, with that, I'll stop talking. Okay. Goodbye, Have everyone. a great day, ladies. Thanks. Bye.